Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Throwback Thursday, baby. Wakey, wakey. Hands off, snakey. Rob Ryan Show. Checking in. Throwback Thursday. Fix the gram Thursday. Uh, Read My Lips Day. We're going to play Read My Lips. The uh, Chile will be in here. Chile takes on Tessa for those Co Wetzel tickets that everyone's freaking out about. It's good. It's good. So, 820. You got to wait till that. Homeroom. Sammy Baker Davis Jr., undisputed champion. I don't know where the confusion is. He's going for win number two today. That first game didn't count. Nobody won. So yesterday he won his first game. He's back on with us. He's a couple-time Hall of Famer. Dashboard confessional. Tickets go on sale tomorrow. We've got winner before they go on sale today. On the Fun Fact Flashback. 21 Pilots tickets at 720. Black Crows tickets early in the nine. Black Keys tickets at the end of the show. Um, there is a concert announcement today. I got to figure out what time that is. So yeah, we'll sneak that in, give away tickets to that show. What the hell? Uh, carbon copy of what we did yesterday. No rain, sunny, high of 84. What a beautiful day it was yesterday. Uh, good morning, Tessa. What are Houston's headlines? Hey, Rod. Good morning, homeroom. Um, I wish that were the case for Monday because, you know, that uh, total solar eclipse, which is everyone is highly anticipating. It's fast approaching, happening Monday, but they're saying severe thunderstorms are possible. I think the latest is there's a 40% chance of rain, and they're saying maybe these clouds are going to get a, get in the way of a lot of people seeing it in the totality viewing area. So we're going to keep monitoring that. The city of Houston has to repay for $45 million after failing to build homes post Harvey. We're going to talk about that this morning. And no one won the Powerball jackpot last night. So that jackpot just keeps growing. Those are our big, serious stories. Then on a, you know, I guess like a hungrier note, it's National Burrito Day. So oh. a bunch of national chains have deals today. Um, just... You know, I, I would say on burrito day, maybe just pick one and then go with it. You know, Chipotle uh, ran a burrito vault contest this week. They People could try and guess an exact order and then win a buy one, get one deal. They gave out 100,000 codes. Um, yeah, so they're doing a code thing. Taco Bell has a buy one, get one for half off deal. And then Baja Fresh has a buy one, get one deal for rewards members. Kidoba, you know, all these burrito-y places have deals. Happy National Burrito Day, everyone. We have a blog page up for that. Great burrito music, Alex. Nicely done. It's gorgeous. Conan O'Brien will appear on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. It'll be his first time back since his short-lived stint as a host ended 14 years ago. He replaced Jay Leno in June of 2009 and then was replaced by Jay in January of 2010. So Conan will be promoting his upcoming travel series, Conan O'Brien Must Go, where he visits new friends in Norway, Thailand, Argentina, and Ireland. That sounds like a pretty cool gig. The first episode premieres April 18th on Max. Okay, Alex, just calm down, okay? Because Tool's next album <laughs> is not going to take as long to come out as the last one did. Wish it would. They, you know, they're really notorious for taking their sweet time between albums. Yeah, they are. Um, and during songs. And, and you know, they gave, uh, the, the band was giving an interview and saying, look, you know, we have a lot of egos, a lot of things going on in our, in our lives, but all the creativity's there. The songs, the ideas, they can flow. They say they get in arguments. Uh, they don't, they don't want to sell out, okay? They say, you know, like, they are selfish when it comes to approaching their art. The whole article's on the music blog page. Those are Houston's headlines. Okay, big, I guess, football news. That's definitely the headline. Yeah, it's got to be. Sure. The Texans did get a new receiver yesterday. They made a trade with your Bills for four-time Pro Bowler Stephon Diggs. In exchange for Diggs, the Texans gave the Bills their second-round pick in next year's draft, so 2025. The Texans are now going to have Diggs, Nico Collins, and Tank Dell at receiver next season. They're clearly going all in for C.J. Stroud, who's still on that rookie contract. That's a pretty solid get, I think, for the Texans, and it was, it was a steal. Is a steal yeah. for what they gave up. He's easily one of the best receivers. Yeah. He's one of the top two, three receivers in the league. 
So uh, shout out to the Texans. That's going to be awesome. Um, in baseball, Astros did get a win last night. They shout out the Blue Jays, eight to nothing. Jordan Alvarez homered twice in the game for the Astros. Team's going to have the day off today before they open up a weekend series with the Rangers tomorrow night in Arlington. In basketball, the Rockets will be back in action tonight. They're going to host the Warriors at Toyota Center. Tip off for that game is at seven, and you can hear it on our sister station, Sports Talk Seven Ninety. That is what's going on in sports. You better have that hockey highlight on your sports oh, blog page. It'll lead. Second in, the Devils and the Rangers just dropped the gloves and everybody fought. It was awesome. Like everyone, nine guys got ejected. Dropping the puck and everyone's fighting. It was everything. Oh. It's just, like, that's what this country was built on, all right? It's called a Donnie Brook, okay, Donnie Tessa? Brooke, Tessa. That's okay. a Tessa. That's a Donnie Brook. Let me write it down. <laughs> all right, yeah, I can't wait to watch rewatch that. I watched it last night live. I watched live. it so many times. Oh, so great. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, four Hours of Pain. If you want in on that first phone call, I'd love to have you. Come get it, man. 713-212-5945. The most interactive show on the radio. It's this one. Okay. 94.5, The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan. 
show. And we are off and running on this throwback Thursday. Got some songs for you to vote on. Those are on links and guests right now. Uh, We do have a concert announcement, and it will be coming your way at 9 o'clock. And I will be giving you some tickets to that show. So we'll get into that. Then I'll squeeze in the Black Crows tickets and the Black Keys tickets. Boy, 9 o'clock hour is going to be crazy busy. Read My Lips is coming up at 820. I need your word suggestions. you got to email me directly, rod at the buzz.com. Don't worry about it. But it is Chile taking on Tessa today. And that's where those Cole Wetzel tickets landed. Um, still getting more emails about Cole Wetzel than anything. Although I got a lot of emails about the music that was played yesterday. I didn't talk to the wizard. I don't know if we're playing any of that. What We did a world premiere of Glass Animals. Did you? Were you here in, in here? We stuck around and listened to it. Yeah. Um, eh. Eh. It sounded pass. it sounded like glass animals. It sounded like their really uh, popular one. What is yeah. the, what is a really popular one? Think about you. Yeah, yeah. They all kind of blend together. Heat, um, that heat waves. It. I did not hear the Imagine Dragons. I Anyone? It. Yeah. Um. It's like Imagine Dragons and the new Twenty One Pilots had a baby. Kind of. I didn't like it as much as the new Twenty One Pilots though. Is it as chaotic as that Twenty One Pilots song? It's. Not as chaotic. Okay. It's they, if, if Imagine Dragons did that version of it. Interesting. That's what I would compare it to. Uh, I wonder if he's... I'll, take a look. See if he gave that to us this morning. Well, uh, Tess is going to talk about it in the next skinny, so you'll be able to hear a little sample of it. Too. Okay, cool. Uh, Sammy Baker Davis Jr. going for win number two in the Fresh Out of Bed Head-to-Head Challenge. Uh, stop Stop the show. Stop everything. Did I not tell people to call in again? Am I not doing Probably that now? Probably not, dude. Oops. 20 years. Am I not telling people to call in for the first phone call? Expectations are too high, dude. You think you could tell someone something for 20 years and they're just going to remember it? I thought no like, way. the muscle memory would be there just yeah, to kind of to call us. Uh, I Maybe I didn't say it. Guys, uh, if you'd like the first phone call, 713-212-5945. I've carved out a little time for whatever it is that you would like to speak about. On that first phone call this morning. Okay, continuing with the opening monologue. Um, All right, Sammy Baker Davis Jr. He's going for win number two. That first game does not count for anything. Dashboard confessional tickets coming your way in homeroom. 21 pilots tickets at 720. And then uh, do we have uh, a baby in the family? What? Give me. I, I was waiting for the call. You told us on the air yesterday that your sister was being induced at around 5 o'clock. I was just hoping that, you know, by the time I went to bed, I'd get some great news. And I got no text from you at I, all no. last night. The family group chat kind of dwindled down Um Allison got an epidural, I believe, at 11 o'clock. She was uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, the epidural was ordered at 11, but no no baby. And when my alarm went off, or actually, I woke up to pee, and at 3.40, I messaged my mom. <laughs> I said, any update? And she called me. She said she's dilated at a 10. And then, you know, at 4.12, uh, she said, we have a baby. Yeah! Uh, yeah, yeah. So she, my mom this is, is Tessa's so little sister. My, my Yeah, my little sister, Allison, had a baby, uh, Sophia, and my Mom is so funny. She's like, I already looked at all the other babies in the nursery. She goes, we have the prettiest baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, of in course. In this room. Yeah, she that's... goes, I've already seen the whole hospital. I've seen it. Um, our baby is the pretty. Can I play a, just a little bit of audio? Yeah, Here, please do. Little, it's very loud. Please do. Okay. <laughs> that's the baby. Yes, my love. You're here with this. Yes, yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations. A lively, loud little thing. No kidding. So- <laughs> congratulations to, the family. to your little sister, Allison, now a mom. That's I'm crazy. I'm a I'm a Tia. And it's you happened. are a Tia. That's amazing. I, right. I needed no coffee this morning. I said, I'm, I'm just ready for the day. Oh, that's I'll so great. I'll wear jeans even. Congratulations. <laughs> mm, looks like Heather got through. Hi, hey, Heather. Hey, what is up? Hey, listen, guys, and this is you included. Thank you for calling. You don't have to wait for me to say yeah. to call in. Just like, just come on, pop on, you know, for the first phone call. Come it's on, a, Nova. It's a standing order. Well, well, I've been wanting somebody else to talk in. You know, I was on the show last week with the Peep Show and stuff, so I was giving everybody else a chance to kind of spend time with y'all. But if nobody else is going to call in, hell, I'll call in. Oh, this is Heather who won <laughs> who won the Chubby Bunny contest. Undefeated Heather. Yeah. Okay. Undefeated Heather. Yes. Listen, are you, are you, <laughs> do you now have the fresh out of bed head to head? Are you concentrating on trying to get in on that game? I have tried to get in every single day. I win every day 
staying there on my car radio. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. think I got it down. I just have to get through. I just got to get through. I mean, you're getting through on these first phone calls. I'm, what is the difference with the fresh out of bed? I know there's a lot of people calling. I know. I, have, I know. Yeah, I, I have no clue. I've tried so many different time frames. I don't know what it is. I just I've been every caller except for number ten. I really feel you're going to do great. When you get through for Fresh Out of Bed Head to Head, because you've excelled at so many other games that you've played and won, I really feel you're going to do great. I'm hoping I'm hoping you get through soon, okay? Yeah, I hope so, too. All Maybe right, today's Heather. the day. Thank you, Heather. Right. Thank you so much, man. Have an awesome day. Thanks for bailing us out. All right, i got to take a break. When we come back, i got a wreck check. Guys, oh, you know, it, it, first phone call of the day. It's there every day for you. I'll, I'll just, i got to write it down. I'll start saying it better. I'll do better. On the flip, got a rec check for you. We'll find out what's trending, and then we'll get set up for the fresh out of bed. Come on. Sup, sup, it's your brother Rod talking about that revolutionary weight loss medication that everyone's talking about right now. It's called Revelex. Semaglutide is the main ingredient in Revelax. Rod, what's semaglutide? Well, that's what that's what everyone really is talking about. Semaglutide, FDA approved for weight loss. It's working for so many people out there. But what direction to go in? Okay, you're hearing about semaglutide. Okay, I heard this works. How do I want to get my semaglutide? Well, let me suggest Revelax. Only available from Red Mountain Weight Loss. Half the price of the other semaglutide meds out there. And it comes in a full-strength daily tablet, so you don't have to give yourself a shot to get it, okay? That means if you're not getting a shot, that means you're not using some other medications that people maybe need for something else, okay? And I, I think you know where I'm going with that. Revelex with semaglutide is in stock at Red Mountain Weight Loss right now. Lose up to 15 pounds per month. Full-strength Revelex only Red Mountain Weight Loss. Dial pound 250 from your phone. Use keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Schedule that appointment Pound 250, keyword red, mountain, weight loss. Hey, it's Tessa. Okay, full disclosure, I had such a hot girl summer last year, and then the holidays, crawfish season. I mean, I just needed a little swift kick. So when Planet Fitness says, hey, look, do you want to do something together? You want to do some, like, collaborating? I said, okay, let me let me see if there's one close. There is a Planet Fitness less than 1,000 feet from the TV station I work at after the show. So listen, if you're sick of being upsold at gyms, a Planet Fitness, you'll get the energy without the upsell, okay? They're never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for everyone. Every workout I went in last yesterday, I hadn't worked out in a while, guys. It feels good, and it's fitness that fits your budget. You can join Planet Fitness for just a dollar down, ten dollars a month, and you can cancel it any time. This is a deal that ends Friday, April twelfth. So check out your home club for details. There is one near you. Just Google it. It's Planet Fitness.
An accident is blocking all the main lanes. And this is a fatality pedestrian accident and police investigation is underway. So 610 West Loop northbound between Woodway and I-10, the Katy Freeway. There is a delay uh, from Post Oak Boulevard. It's about 15 minutes. In Midtown, a center lane's block, 69 at the downtown split. That's a five-minute delay for you this morning. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety four five the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan show. Yeah, I know those rec checks go by quick, but man, six ten right here by the radio station. Right. So it was. It's it's on the West Loop where we are located. It's heading north, and every lane blocked. And I, you know, you don't want to see that first thing in the morning. I know this happened probably a couple hours before I even came in, but four o'clock, four thirty, I'm driving, and you just see activity everywhere. So. You want to stay away from uh, the Galleria area, for sure. I guess if you're coming in, you're okay. But everyone's looking, so it's pretty nasty. Sunny skies today, no rain, highs of around 84. What's trending over there? Okay, so uh, the number one trend was something Alex already talked about. Uh, Stefan Diggs is the number one search on Google. Bills traded him to the Texans, uh, wide receiver. And uh, again, Alex really leading with that story because it is the most popular sp- sports story and news story of the day. Uh, another thing that is trending, uh, Gene Simmons says he digs JoJo Siwa's new bad girl look. Uh <laughs> Remember I told you yesterday, she was making headlines because she dressed herself, I guess, at the iHeart, uh, she was at the iHeartRadio Music Awards on Monday in a getup that seemed like it was from the Kiss tour. I thought it was a little bit more Cirque du Soleil, to be honest with you, but okay. But Gene did chime in on it. I put, I threw it on the Looking at Girls blog page. Yeah, he said anybody who doesn't get it is just jealous. Okay. Thanks. Anyone? Thanks, Jean. <laughs> and then our Instagram Thursday blog page is doing the best. So go take a look at that. That's what's trending on 94.5 The Buzz. He probably is saying that he likes it and then going to hit her up for some cash. Probably. Like, uh, it's uh, my look. I'm going to need some money for that. <laughs> does Gene Simmons sound like the wizard? He does sound a little like the radio <laughs> wizard. My Gene and my Jean and my wizard are pretty close to one another, but there's subtle differences. All right. Let's, let's see if the speech works. Good morning, everybody. This is Sammy Baker Davis, Jr., your undisputed, fresh-out-of-bed, head-to-head, one-day champion Mm -hmm. and proud owner of another Rod Ryan Show t-shirt. Join me on Thick Thursday, where I make it win number two, bitches. All right, I think we got everything squared away. You want to take him on? 713-212-5945.
All right, come on. 94.5 The Buzz, Butthole Surfers making the news. I think last week they were in the cycle talking about turning down all kinds of money to get back together. They said, "Uh uh-uh, six figures. Six figures turned down. They don't want to hop on any of these festivals that they're being offered this summer. They don't trust themselves. Good morning. Thank you guys for uh, sending me some read my lips words. Step it up a little bit. I need some suggestions. We're going to play read my lips at 820. I always use the best words that are submitted by you. Maybe you haven't sent me words before. Today is the day. Send me some great words to use during the game. Chile takes on Tessa at around 820. You can email me, rod at thebuzz.com. Sunny skies today, no rain, highs of around 84. Looks like we got some new questions on this sheet. Nice. Uh oh. Chile! Sammy disappeared. I saw Sammy. Oh, okay. There he is. He's bouncing around on different lines. Hey, Sammy, I feel like I saw you on one phone line and then you bounced to another one. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I was waiting for Chili and then it was halfway through the song. I was like, well, hell, maybe he's got my number. Not <laughs> off or something. All right. We got so, you. You're going for win number right. two today. You agree on that, right? Yes, sir. I mean, what are you going to do? Say no, Rod. No radio boy. Um, <laughs> yeah. That first game didn't count. Um, yeah. Okay. You're going to take on Paul. Hey, Paul. Oh, I should probably. Press buttons. Hi, Paul. Hey, what's going on, Rod? What's up, dude? What do we know about you? When was the last time you played? Uh, uh, the end of February. Okay. How'd you do? I did all right. Uh, I did. One, I got one win. That's not all right. I guess that's better than most. <laughs> that's better than most. It's all right. I mean, getting in is yep. significant. And he got in twice, so that's going to piss people off. This is his second time playing this year, kids. <laughs> okay? He must be dialing like a, like a nut. Every morning, every morning. Thank you, Paul. All right, Sammy's going for win number two. See if you can make him a one-pump jump. What are they playing for? I have a pair of tickets to the Rockets. They're playing the Heat this Friday at oh. Toyota. Stealing Alex's Rockets tickets. I uh, know. All right. Nice. All right, you shout out your name when you think you know the answer. Sammy, you ready? Yes, sir. Paul, you good? Ready to go. Question number one. What is the name of the wooden boy that Geppetto Sam. made? Sam. Sam, they said. Sammy. Pinocchio. Pinocchio, yeah. By a hair. Very close. I've never run into a Geppetto in real life. Nor have I. That's a shame. It's a great name. It's a great name. You should talk to your sister. Maybe that Sophia thing. Is it locked in? It's a uh, male leaning. Little baby Geppetto. You could do whatever you want these days. I, feel, I, save, I save that. Save that for. Can I call your sister's baby Geppetto moving forward? I feel like you will. <laughs> Geppettet. Next question. Sammy and Paul. How many fingers does it take to hold up? Paul. Sammy. Sammy! Two. I mean, what if the question ends in an (laughs) F-U? It doesn't. Two is the correct answer. (laughs) Uh, For those of you playing the home version, how many fingers does it take to hold up A peace sign. And that's Sammy, two questions, two answers. Paul! See you on the next one. Maybe you're my little Geppetto today. (laughs) 30 days, bro. Yep, see you next time. All right, 30 days in the hall. Sammy, no one pump chump for you. Congratulations. You want to play tomorrow? Sure do. Awesome. Hang on.
94.5, The Buzz, Stained, and Lowest in Me. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. 6.35. Uh, every news organization is out there on 6.10 right now. It is just an absolute mess down here in the Galleria. Uh, if you're coming in, I guess, into the Galleria, well, I, from I-10, you're okay in that direction. It's north. It's the West Loop North that's just completely closed down. There was a fatality, and uh, we're going to let them sort things out. But, boy, it is a mess down here for sure. You're saying Chimney Rock is an alternate route on the map right now? Okay. All right. Um, sunny skies today. Kind of a carbon copy of what we did yesterday. Sunny skies. Highs of around 84. Good morning, everybody. It's Sammy Baker Davis, Jr. Sorry, kids. No one pump chump here. With just two questions and two answers. Making me your fresh out of bed, head to head, two day champion. Yeah. Join me on Free Beer Friday when I make it win number three. Wait for it. Bitches. Yep. He likes that little dramatic pause in there. Uh, dashboard confessional tickets coming your way, but first. Do you know the wrestler Mick Foley? I do. Is that the one with the sock? Mankind. Mankind? Mm -hmm. Did he wrestle as his name and his character name? I don't know. Wrestlers rebrand sometimes, so he may have. Yeah. I do recall him as Mankind. And then you're right. There was some kind of a sock puppet Mm -hmm. And he did stand up. Okay. Uh, Kevin James, King of Queens. Mm Mm-hmm. And WWE star Mick Foley went to high school together. They were on the same wrestling team. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, There are only two animals that tongue kiss. One of Alex's favorites, bonobos. Mm -hmm. And, of course, humans. Why do I think you like bonobos? I did an ad for them before. (laughs) Was there a store called bonobos? Yeah. Like, like a gazelle or something like that. I remember you doing some kind of commercial for Bonobos. Bonobos. Yeah. I'm like, I think he's in love with Bonobos. They dropped me pretty quick. They dropped you? In love. Wasn't fancy enough for them. <laughs> I think we've done this one before. Hi, Hal. Rodney. Do you remember this? One of the most popular slang terms. The entire 1800s was, my name is Haynes. You remember covering that? What? what? Um, it's, I, I you, wasn't around in the 1800s. You, <laughs> yeah, do you remember that, Hal? <laughs> when you yeah, had, back you in the day. Up. When your pants stopped at around your knee and you had socks pulled up. That, <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you would say, my name is Haynes, which you'd say if you wanted to like end a conversation or you wanted to leave a room. Like Tessa's telling one of her stories and I just go, my name is Haynes, and I'm, and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Haynes? I don't know. I Who's like Haynes? I like tell us, Hal. <laughs> well, let me tell you. My name is Haynes. <laughs> what do you give it away? I have a pair of tickets to see Dashboard Confessional. Uh, tickets aren't even on sale for this show yet. They're going to sell Friday, but you can win a pair if you know the backpack. All right. It doesn't sound like back fat. <laughs> uh, Johnny Carson had an $81 million home in Malibu. This thing was massive, okay? How many bedrooms in that home? An $81 million mansion. Give me the number of bedrooms. 713-212-5945. There's my guy over there. Hey, Hal. Brother Rod. Uh, How how did Wall Street fare yesterday? Uh, Well, it was a mixed down Wall Street. The Dow was down 43 points to 30,127. NASDAQ up 37 points to 16,277. Benchmark 10-year Treasury is trading at a 4.36%. And oil stands at $85.38 a barrel. Two of the most active is the big studs, Caterpillar, Dow, and IBM. The big duds, Procter & Gamble, Walt Disney, and Intel. On the economic calendar this morning, we'll get numbers on the services. 
Consensus Index for March. Right now, futures, hey, they're on the upside. Hang on to this. There'll be a positive opening right here on Wall Street. That's it. I'm Matt here. This is Hal Lynn, Managing Director with Raymond James. Put it for the Rod Ryan Show. From Raymond James on San Felipe and Augusta. And don't forget to always rock out with your stock out. Yo, what's up? It's your brother, Rod, talking about Love Street. Uh, I'm going to be out on Saturday afternoon. You're all invited. Come out and join me. We've got a little crawfish festival going on. What's better than crawfish and a, a nice cold Love Street? Not too much. Also, because I'm such a fan, I follow at Carbock Brewing on Instagram. Your 2024 Love Street Music Fest has been announced, and this looks like a hell of a party. So I hope to be working with them on that. It's going to be right there at the Carbox Brewery, which is amazing if you haven't stopped by yet. Carbox Love Street, man. It truly is a state of mind. Get your mind right. Get set for this upcoming weekend. Carbox Love Street. Go to CarboxBrewing.com. Love Street Blonde. Music to your beer.
We're going to go back to that major accident on 610 West Loop, northbound between Woodway and I-10, the Katy Freeway. So it's traffic is stopped from the Southwest Freeway. It's about a 40-minute delay. Uh, why? Well, there was a fatal pedestrian accident in this area. There is a police investigation underway in this area. They're giving me Chimney Rock as an alternate route if you're trying to go northbound. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Welcome back, Rod Ryan Show. Throwback Thursday. Alex, when do you want to do song clips? It's on uh, you. You you do them next hour. Yeah, I, I'm good for that. Seven oh five. That works. All right. Yeah, let's get into it a little bit and see what uh, what we're offering up as your uh, throwback selections. I've heard people are happy about it. Well, that that's good news. Uh, no rain, sunny skies, high of eighty-four, and this Nelson. Yes, sir. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. I'm doing great. How about yourself, man? Doing awesome. Uh, Johnny Carson had an $81 million mansion in Malibu, California. Uh, how many bedrooms in that mansion? He had one bedroom. One That was it. Bedroom. One bedroom. Like Tessa's one banana. Yep. It's just yeah. as weird. It's just as weird. Awesome. <laughs> Tessa going to buy one banana is weird. Awesome. Johnny Carson didn't want anybody staying over. And I he, don't want bananas to go bad. There were no house guests, no nothing. He did not like company, no nothing. One bedroom in the so whole does house. That mean, does that mean the bedroom was like super huge? I don't, or was it just a regular? Oh, you think maybe he took all the room from all the other rooms and made it into one yeah, huge one? Made, like, yeah, <laughs> one master suite, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe. Geez, that would be the biggest bedroom ever. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. Johnny Carson, weirdo. What are you giving Nelson? Oh, Nelson, you get the pair of tickets to Dashboard Confessional with Boys Like Girls at Bayou Music Center. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. I called back in uh, I called back in February, and I won the tickets for Asking Alexandria. Oh, this guy's a winner over here. All right. Yeah. I need to hop on the Nelson train. All right, dude, hang on for me. It's 94.5 The Buzz. Here we go. 
94.5 The Buzz. Blink-182. Good morning. Rod Ryan show on this Throwback Thursday. Our, Alex wants to get into the songs. After 7 o'clock, we'll get you the song clips. We'll talk about where they're at uh, as far as what you're voting for. You can go and look now and cast your vote. You can go hit up uh, the world-famous Rod Ryan show page at thebuzz.com. Chili's got that blog page up for you, as well as your Thixtagram Thursday, the Looking at Girls blog page, food blog page today, crazy criminal blog page, three things you must see. My goodness, I got Chili working overtime today. And... I'm gonna. Maybe he'll be all tired out by the time he gets in here for Read My Lips. He does have a lot of work to do before he gets in here. Chili, Hopefully. Chili takes on Tessa today at 820. But then Tessa was up all night worried about this baby coming. I don't know. <laughs> I'm invigorated. We'll Never see. felt more alive. Uh, we'll see if that. We'll see if you can still keep that going at 820. Uh, what are Houston's headlines? So we've been talking about this in the rec checks. The northbound lanes yeah. of 610 West Loop are closed near the Katy Freeway I-10 after a deadly crash. So I want to give you some of this backstory because according to Houston police, an off-duty lieutenant uh, who they believe was on his way home is the per- is the one that hit and killed a person that was crossing the freeway around 2.25 a.m. So they don't know why the pedestrian was trying to cross the freeway when they were hit and killed, but we do know that all traffic is being diverted off I-10. That's causing major delays for drivers in the area, and it's going to be an ongoing investigation that's going to last for several hours, so just pack some patience or avoid that area if you can that's what investigators ideally want people to do is just to avoid that area yeah when you were saying chimney rock i'm like what the hell how's chip i guess if you got to get into the galleria you take chimney rock off of i-10 you can get in wow it's gonna it's gonna be bad for a while yeah um also let's talk about money honeys because the powerball jackpot keeps growing there was no grand prize winner in last night's drawing that was remember we were like one point one one point oh one billion dollars and one point oh nine and then we were putting the hypothetical on the X, like, okay, if your friend borrows ten bucks Oh yeah, what do they owe you? Yeah, what do they owe you if they win this lottery? I mean, I don't know who's listening to this show, but there were people that didn't even want to pay back the ten bucks. <laughs> Like, so <laughs> it was 11 so percent of our I mean, audience. We can, we can keep that one up because now the jackpot is pushed up to an estimated 1.23 billion dollars. Uh, the next drawing is it until Saturday, so you have some time to snag to snag a lottery ticket. Um, people have made dying wishes before. You know, um, people had their their last will and testament. There's a 68-year-old woman in the UK that passed away from breast cancer recently, and her funeral and her funeral was just held last month. And the Grim Reaper showed up. Literally, the woman's dying wish was to have a friend show up to the funeral, dressed as a reaper, and point to people and say, "You're next." Okay, so obviously this woman has a sense of humor. It this, was meant to be funny. Yeah, and this came up recently because didn't somebody email us, and they were told by their dying grandfather or not something. Not to let their friends go to the funeral. Don't let their uncle in or something. Yeah. I, we had, I had mixed feelings on that one. This one, if that's what they want, and they want to have some humor. So the Grim Reaper was pointing at people saying, you're next, you're yeah. next. That's what she wanted. Yeah, it was, it was meant to be funny, not terrifying. So the family did pre-warn people and a few people <laughs> They didn't attend because they were like, I'm good. I'm good on the Grim Reaper at a funeral calling me out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. All right. I like this one. Yeah, good for her. Good for her. Hey, uh, it'll be uh, written and directed by Drew Goddard. What am I talking about? Uh, Warner Brothers has announced that a fifth Matrix movie is in the works. So the same dude who did Cloverfield, World War, World War Z, and The Martian is going to be in on The Matrix. Um it's still pretty early on, so there aren't a ton of plot details yet. Like if it'll be a direct sequel or if any return, if any characters will return, there's not a potential release date. But, you know, they said that Drew Goddard came to them with this new idea that they agreed would be a great way to continue this Matrix world. I have a confession. Go ahead. I never saw any of the Matrix movies. Oh, wow. I've only seen that. To me, you only need to see the first one. The first one is pretty... I mean, it's pretty what? Please finish your pretty, sentence. It's pretty life changing. Like, okay. it, I think it makes you think of things in a different way. It's one of these movies that leaves you feeling like, OK, that's a definitely a di- like Inception. Like, wow, what a concept. Right. Right. It's like that. I mean, what I could understand of it. Um, <laughs> I think it's easier to understand than Inception. Is The Matrix awesome? I love it. You love it. Mm-hmm. I really liked it. Is that it the was blue just, pill, red pill? Yeah. That's cons- where we get that from? Conceptually, the idea of it, it, it. 
again, um, my little feeble mind uh, was like, wow, you should really expand your horizons. I was, I thought it was a great idea. And, and like, it makes you think, what if? I- didn't they need landlines to get into the Matrix? We don't have uh, landlines anymore. Well, I mean, you do, but <laughs> Isn't no that, one uses I mean, I know a little bit about it, the Matrix. So. Yeah. but I think it was a landline thing. Yeah, maybe. We're going to have to update that. <laughs> <laughs> cell towers. Yeah. They'll be using Just jumping around in cell towers. Alex, That'd be sick. get in on this climb project. To the top of it. There you go. A uh, major music artists like Katy Perry, Billie Eilish, um, Imagine Dragons have signed a petition on behalf of the Artist Rights Alliance urging AI companies to back off. They wrote a letter. Musicians across multiple genres signed an anti-AI letter saying, look, some platforms and developers are employing AI to sabotage creativity, to undermine artists, songwriters, music- musicians, and rights holders. This is a petition, and they are really, really threatened by, you know, AI so much so that they are urging people not to let it happen. You can go check it out. Um, I mean, not just the ones I named. You got Cheryl Crow in on this, Miranda Lambert, Stevie Wonder. Uh, the whole article's on the music blog page. Those are Houston headlines. I just like to imagine, like, the AI company be like, we got to shut it down. Imagine Dragons asked us to. <laughs> to. Hey, guys, shut it all down. It. Uh, I, got Dan, it. I got Dan from Imagine Dragons on the phone. He said, shut it down. Shania Twain is backing them. <laughs> <laughs> no right. chance we can do this, guys. But this, okay. you know what this has a feel? I was around when MP3s made their way on the internet and, like, artists weren't... Metallica. Matt 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 yeah. yeah. So I remember talking with Johnny from the Goo Goo Dolls, and he said, yeah, we're looking into this. We don't know what it is, but our music is out there, and I'm not making any money on it. <laughs> yeah. So I, I imagine AI, they're trying to get ahead of it. They, they probably, are. They probably are. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, in... Football news, the Texans got a new receiver yesterday. Uh, I don't know how happy Rod was about it, but they did make a trade with Rod's Bills for four-time Pro Bowler Stephon Diggs. In exchange for Diggs, the Texans gave up their second-round pick next year. It was a steal, an absolute fleecing by Nick Casario for uh, getting that. I mean, I know he's a 30-year-old receiver, but he's a four-time Pro Bowler. No, he's He's, still— He's a stud. He's a stud, and now you have him to pair with Nico Collins and Tank Dell at wide receiver. You have Dalton Schultz at tight end. The Texans are stacked. Everyone was asking me, like, how do I feel about it? Listen, it's great for the Texans. I think just because I don't know what goes on in the locker room with him. He's not so much like yelling on the sidelines. I know he's gotten into it with Josh Allen before, but I wasn't worried about that. But I do feel he's one of those receivers like he wants the ball all the time. And C.J. Stroud is new. He could be great. He could be great. I just hope that it's not a I'm, I'm more worried about his personality. And that's yeah. why I think he left Buffalo because of a personality thing. It's certainly not his ability. He's a top receiver in the league. So Sometimes. it's a huge get, provided that they can keep him. You got to keep him happy. Yeah. And it's I mean, weird that you get a guy on your team and then you got to keep him happy. You saw that with him in Minnesota. They got him to the Bills and then he was good with the Bills for a while when you needed a change of scenery. Maybe you just need another change of scenery. He's 30. This is probably the final stop of his career, maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe a change of scenery. He'll be back to his old self. Huge get for the Texans. Yeah, I think so, yeah. too. In baseball, the Astros got a win last night. They shut out the Blue Jays 8 to nothing. Jordan Alvarez homered twice in the game. The team's going to have the day off before they open up a weekend series with the Rangers tomorrow night in Arlington. And in basketball, Rockets are going to be back in action tonight. They're going to host the Warriors at Toyota Center. Tip-off is at 7. You can hear that one on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. That is what's going on in sports. Hey, what's up? It's your brother Rod and my uh, friend Alex right over there. We're talking about Hulu and Disney+. Plus. It's here. And you know Alex is always on me about the streaming. So now you can watch the hottest Hulu movies, the shows, the originals, and it's all right there on Disney+. Plus. Hulu content like Poor Things, Vanderpump Villa, FX's Shogun, now available on Disney+. Plus. They've also got awesome other stuff like The Bear, yes. a- Abbott Elementary, and The Only Murders in the Building, as well as classics like The Simpsons. And you can even check out Taylor Swift, The Eras Tour. And I did check it out, so thank you. New classics like Wish, The Little Mermaid, Elemental. It's all in one place now. Streaming new content has never been this easy. Your favorites from Hulu and Disney Plus are now together like never before. All these and more now streaming. Disney bundle subscription required. Terms apply. Visit DisneyPlus.com slash Hulu for all the details. Okay, the big accident on 610 West Loop remains to be a huge delay if you're going northbound between Woodway and I-10. Take Chimney Rock as an alternate route. There's an accident reported on 610 North Loop eastbound at East Tex. That's giving you some stop and go from Irvington, but that's only a 10-minute delay. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz.
Here we go. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Foo Fighters are going to be playing the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival on Friday, May 3rd. On Thursday, May 2nd, the Rolling Stones are playing. You got to ask yourself, Dave Grohl, lover of all music, Mm -hmm. he's going in early, right? Like Dave Grohl is going to be on campus, on site the day before to see the Rolling Stones. And then you got to ask yourself, if he's there... Does Mick bring him on stage? Yeah, good question. He does, doesn't he? Are you, I mean. Yes, yes. <laughs> I am saying, I am saying uh, 100% the Rolling Stones bring on Dave Grohl. <laughs> and that will be, that's making me want to be in that audience as crazy it's gonna, as, as it's going to be. Uh, NOJazzFest.com if you want Jazz Fest information. Um, wow. To see Dave on stage with the Rolling Stones. I really do think there's a really high percentage of, of that happening. I hope you're off to a great start to your day. We're going to talk a little bit about Throwback Thursday. We have sunny skies today, no rain, highs of around 84. There is a concert announcement. It'll be after 9 o'clock. Um, but we'll squeeze that in. We'll give away tickets. But, boy, tickets, 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 tickets. 21 Pilots tickets this hour for their uh, Toyota Center show. Tickets go on sale tomorrow for 21 Pilots. People already bitching about the ticket prices. We did that story yesterday on the music blog page. Read my lips at 820 for the Co Wetzel tickets. Those also going on sale tomorrow. All right, let's get dumb Alex's song out of the way. Whoa. whoa yes, you whoa. heard me. You heard me. It's not a dumb song. It is. It's not. No, it's good. It is really good. All three songs are killer today for Throwback Thursday. Uh, This is called Icky Thump. You don't like this run? I like it. I just like the other ones maybe just a bit more. Interesting. Okay, okay. Again, really good songs today. This is White Stripes. This isn't even Jack White solo. This is... It's cool. I like it a lot. I know you do. You don't gotta tell me things I know. <laughs> Fine. Oh my I won't god. tell you anything. Oh my god. <laughs> this band comes up every now and then. Not a one hit wonder, like a one and a half hit wonder. But this was their big one, man. This is Sponge. This is in 90s movies, you know? Is this even close to Icky Thump? No. Yeah, it is. (laughs) Why am I asking you? (laughs) Why am I talking to you anymore during this segment? That's your idea. <laughs> All right, and then if you really, he hates if, it. if you really want to, <laughs> if you want to rock this morning, Silver Chair, not a one-hit wonder. This was the follow-up to their big single. This is Pure Massacre. I saw these kids when they were young. I mean, they were 17 when they got signed, maybe even younger. Uh, I, I, by the time they got around here and they played, maybe they were 18 years old. God, they were so tight. Three-piece band. Oh, they were so good live. Dude. I'm going to ask you one more time. Is this better no. than Icky Thumb? <laughs> Why am I? Why am I you talking asked. to you? You said you were gonna ask. Stop all answering the time. if it's not what I want to hear. Just don't say anything. <laughs> Stop answering Deal. wrong. <laughs> I'll just say nothing. Read his mind now. You know how I want you to answer. Don't put me in a box. All right, this song is awesome, guys. <laughs> all right, Sponge is in the lead. Right now has 45% of your vote. White Stripes, 30% of your vote. This one right here, Silver Chair, Pure Massacre, which rocks the hardest. Uh, 23% of the vote. Come on. Do the right thing today. (laughs) Hey. (laughs) 
Ladle, ladle, guys. Take the day off. <laughs> <laughs> tell your little disciples. That I gonna, won't tell them anything. Give them the day off. I will they tell have them free nothing. will. For God's sakes. Do they? As long as it's what Alex wants. All right. You, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you vote uh, on the world famous Rod Ryan Show page at thebuzz.com. Yo, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about this revolutionary weight loss medication. It's called Revalex. It's only available from Red Mountain Weight Loss. Semaglutide is the main ingredient in Revalex. Semaglutide is what, got, what, it, what is making this revolutionary because it's FDA approved for weight loss and so many people. And I got to be honest, there's a lot of companies out there that are, uh, that are jumping on this. The thing about Revalex is it's half the price of the other semaglutide meds out there, and it comes in a full-strength daily tablet. So no needles, just results, like losing up to 15 pounds per month, okay? Revelex starts an effective weight management dose right away. This means you can lose up to 15 pounds in just one month. Includes one-on-one -on -one support from medical experts and resources to ensure you maintain your weight loss for life. You're going to meet with the clinical team monthly to review your progress. Schedule that appointment. Get started on Revelex today. It's available only by prescription. You can only get it at Red Mountain Weight Loss. Schedule that appointment now. Dial pound 250. Use keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Prime Way Federal Credit Union's best checking account offers 2.0% APY. And if you use your debit card and meet the minimum number of swipes, your monthly checking fee is waived. Okay, so if you need a checking account, you use a debit card a lot, you most likely won't have a monthly fee here. Your best checking account comes with great features that include cell phone protection. You get reimbursed if your cell phone is damaged or stolen. It comes with identity and dark web monitoring. You can monitor your personal information and then get alerts when your data is exposed online roadside assistance telehealth dining shopping rewards i mean all you have to do today is visit primewayfcu.com sign up for your best checking account and start taking advantage of all these benefits
And the accident on 610 North Loop eastbound at East Tex Freeway is, tra- is stopping traffic from the Hardy Toll Road. Um, that fatal pedestrian accident 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 on 610 West Loop northbound has been cleared. There's still traffic. It's still about a half hour delay uh, at I-10 Katy Freeway. So traffic from Bel Air, Chimney Rock, still an available route for you there. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Okay, lots of stuff uh, to unpack here. Thank you to everyone that's sending me word suggestions. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Uh, number one word suggested: Tia Tessa. Aww. Tia Tessa. Thanks, guys. Number one word suggested. Everyone's kind of throwing that my way. Uh, so congratulations to uh, your little sis and yeah. to you and the whole family over Shout there. Shout out, Allison. Yeah, and everyone. I'm getting. Still updates. I'm like, Allison, are you still high from the drugs? And mom's like, no, she is not. Little no, baby, she is not. Little baby Sophia, right? Yeah, little baby Sophia. Too late to change it to Geppetto. Um, well, you know what? It might not be too late. I'll, I'll run it by the group. Um, yeah. Little Sophia Geppetto. No, we like Anna Yelly. All right. Uh, sunny skies today. Highs of around 84. Concert announcement after 9 o'clock. And we are going to play that new Imagine Dragon song for you that world premiered yesterday. Let's get a spin on that, and then I want to take some phone calls. You guys tell me what you think of it, all right? Now, I'd like to find out what is trending. Okay, so have you seen that the women's NCAA Final Four tickets are like double the price of the men's on the resale market? Yeah, it's a it's a good time for women's college basketball right now. It really right is. Now. It really is. And it's great. Yeah, it's wonderful. The, the women's games on Friday, Iowa versus UConn, then South Carolina versus North Carolina State. I mean, people are just really, really excited. It's also tough on them, though, because Angel Reese declared for the draft, so they lost one of their best players. Did she really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's going to the WNBA. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't know. Alex with the see, female I, basketball you, news. I mean, or, written, written by women. Raised and written by women, Alex. I've, yes. I've got it on the looking at. Mom. I've got it on the looking at girls' blog page today. I First love thing it. When Rod walked into my room yesterday, I was like, "Hey, Angel Reese declaring." Yep. Huge news. Huge. Um, also, cup of noodles has a new ramen flavor. Bagel with cream cheese ramen noodles. I mean, you didn't like my ham salad. I'm not talking to you about food anymore. I like this little cup of noodles, though, but that new flavor I don't like. I like the shrimp flavor. I like the chicken. I like the beef. Those See, it's boring. when they go all, I, I know. I like, that's what that's what I like my noodles to taste like. And then you're looking at a girl's blog page doing really well. The, the Instagram and the looking at a girl's blog page doing really well today. So go take a look at that. That's what's trending on 94.5 The Buzz. Okay. Silver Chair, Pure Massacre, first place. People want to rock. Interesting. People want to rock. Interesting. Uh, yeah, Silver Chair shot up from worst to first. So White Stripes remains in the middle there, and Sponge Plowed is now in, which was in first place, is now in last place. So, wow, uh, lots of movement. Song clips at seven o'clock might be the way to go. All right, what do we know about this new Imagine Dragons? Other than uh, yesterday, there was a couple of world premieres. Glass Animals premiered at ten. We all listened to that here in the studio when Jeremy played it. And then I have not heard this yet. So I kind of had a feeling we were going to play it this morning. This is brand new music from Imagine Dragons. Whether you're hearing it for the first time or you've heard it a couple of times, I will encourage you to call in and tell me your thoughts on the song. I'll get to the 21 Pilots tickets coming up in, in give me 10 minutes on those and I'll give those away. But I want to focus in on this song and I'm going to have everybody in the studio listen as well. Here we go.
94.5 The Buzz. Uh, that's my world premiere right there. I know we played Same. it. We banged it all day yesterday, but that's the first time you're hearing it, right? That's right. Uh, Imagine Dragons called Eyes Closed. I, I went over. I wanted to see what the video accompaniment looked like. It looks like the movie The Mummy. Uh, but, of course, Dan, you know, open shirt. He's all jacked. He's so fit. Yeah, he's crazy fit, huh? Um, yeah. Okay, well, okay. So let's... Your first listen, your first thoughts, and I, I do want to say this before I go into it. I asked Alex because he had heard it yesterday, and he threw in, I thought it was weird. He said, well, think about like that new 21 Pilots that you like. Think about Imagine Dragons and kind of bl- blending in some of that. Um, that I, was I, Did I nail it? That description was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Go ahead, Tessa. Um, I just thought it was a good, like, uh, it reminded me of a hype track. Like, a, could be a good workout playlist thing. Okay. Um, maybe... A commercial, but it's something that I would have on the reg. No, it, it's, a, it's an intense song. I like it. I would put it on a a, wor- a workout um, playlist. Eyes closed. I can do this with my eyes closed. I heard yeah. that part. Um, so, Alex, you've heard it a couple of times now. Yeah, I mean, pretty much it is like uh, it's got everything that Imagine Dragons has with the drums and all of that, mm-hmm. and then they kind of changed it up a little bit with, uh, I don't know, is it electric, whatever they're doing there, the 21 piloting of it? Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. There's the some stepification. And they're pitching his voice, yeah. obviously, in there. Um, I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, it's not my favorite song, but... Like I, it's definitely like like Twenty One Pilots, where I feel like the tenth time we hear it, that we'll like it more than we do right now. Okay. When I heard that Twenty One Pilots song, I was giggling to myself. I'm like, why? This is not for you, Rod. And it was for me. You know, I don't know if this has that in it where I'm gonna love it because I love that Twenty One Pilots song now. But I it, really it do. Took time to grow on you though. Yes, but I knew, but. I, but I knew it was coming. Like, I, okay, I felt it was okay. coming. And I don't know if this is going to have that same effect on me. But I do like it, though. I don't dislike it. Good morning, Gilbert. Yeah. Go ahead. New Imagine Dragons. It's called Eyes Closed. Yeah, I think uh, my ears threw up, number one. <laughs> I was driving. It gave me a uh, car vertigo, if that's a possibility. <laughs> So yeah, I think I. Uh, he's been waiting. He's been. He's unloading right now. He's been writing this since yesterday when he heard Dude. it for the first time. He's, he's like, so I ready to go. Cannot wait to unload on Rod. No, no. no. All right, so I thumbs. Hated it. It's horrible. You Sorry. hated it. You hated it. Yeah, yeah do don't it play it on the radio. Close. Close. I, I want to change radio stations because of it. Actually. Oh my god. Don't you dare. You. Don't I'm you kidding. dare. I you think anyone guys, else would let you voice your opinion this freely on their little show? Don't Not you leave. a million years. You son of a bitch, you don't leave, okay? <laughs> <laughs> don't I'm just do kidding. It. You guys are the best. Love you guys. Thanks, Gilbert. All right, Robert. Jeez, that was rough. <laughs> right? Hi, Robert. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Uh, I'm taking some calls on this new Imagine Dragon song. It's called Eyes Closed. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it was all right. It was all right. Uh, I like the ring to it a little bit. Uh, it wasn't my favorite, but, uh, you know, it might catch on okay. soon. All right. Thank you. I mean, anything's better than what Gilbert said. Um, Mark, you're next up. Hi, Mark. Hey, what's going on, brother? Rod, man. Lindell Park. Um, Mark here. Uh, man, it was a little too hip-hop for me. Okay. Uh, also, that low voice part of it uh, kind of reminded me of DJ Screw a little bit. Uh, didn't think I'd throw a DJ Screw reference on the buzz, but <laughs> there you go, man. Listen, we there's there's no musical rock not unturned on this show. Uh, Josh, good morning. Hey, what's up, dude? We're talking a little bit about this new Imagine Dragon song. You have some thoughts? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, it's it, the beginning of it. If you like Imagine Dragons, it's for you. Mm-hmm. It, it's like a regular old good Imagine Dragon song. Uh, and then they got to the chorus. And I don't know if it's what they're going for, but it made me laugh so hard. You laughed at it. it. Go with it. Well, I can do it with my eyes closed. Made me <laughs> laugh so hard. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I didn't see it coming yeah. or what, man, but I lost it in the car. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to take one more. Allie. Good morning, Allie. Hello. Hi. I, I need you to – windows are down or something. It's really loud. I, I, wanna he- I really want to hear what you think. Okay. Better or no? It is better. Tell me your thoughts on okay. this Imagine Dragon song. You sound great. 
Um, I loved it. I think that first dude was totally out of his mind. Don't know what he was hearing. Um, don't think we were listening to the same song, but no, I absolutely loved it. They could do absolutely no wrong with me. This was something fresh. It was new. It was a little different, and I think they totally pulled it off. I'm glad I got you on because I think it does sound different, but it's undeniably Imagine Dragons. So it is like a fresher, it's a fresh Imagine Dragons, you know? They didn't they didn't escape their sound, you know, they didn't abandon what, what got them here. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I got you on, Allie. Thank you. Maybe I like it more than I, I want to hear it again. That's wanna, what we need. I want to hear it again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I know we played it all day yesterday, so um, I, okay. Thank you for all the calls. Uh, all, Gilbert, thank you. Even Gilbert's first call. Uh, I, I welcome all of that when we're putting on new music and, uh, and asking you guys your thoughts on things. So thank you guys for being music directors and music critics. You're the best at it. And that's why myself, along with The Wizard, we trust you so much. Uh, but can we get to those tickets that we didn't do? Sure, sure. So I have 21 pilots at Toyota Center. Uh, tickets go on sale for that this Friday, but you can win them before you can buy them right here. Okay. I'll take caller number 10, 713-212-5945. Hit it. Ah, okay. Now this I like. Here's Alice in Chains, Matt in the box on the buzz.
All right. 94.5, The Buzz, AIC, Man in the Box, Rod Ryan Show on this Throwback Thursday. Let me have a peek here. Throwback Thursday, we, we need you to get your votes in. Go to the world-famous Rod Ryan Show page at thebuzz.com. Silver Chair, Pure Massacre, 60% of the vote. White Stripe still in the middle at 22. And Sponge, formerly in first place this morning. All of homeroom, Sponge Plowed was in first place. Now it's in last place with just 17% of the vote. Looks like you guys want to rock. Me too. Me too. Sunny skies, highs of around 84. Let's go give away some tickets. Sorry, I had to push these back a little bit because I wanted to play that new music for everybody and get some calls in. Hi, Rod Ryan Show. Who's on the phone? Hello, Katie. Hi, Katie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Kick ass. Thanks for asking. Did you hear the new Imagine Dragons song? I did. What'd you think of it? Um, it was something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is not going to hurt you or help you in your quest for tickets. So you can speak freely here. You're in the trust tree right now. If you didn't like it, feel free to tell me your real thoughts. I have to listen to it a few more times to really get a good judgment on it. What are you, a politician? Wow. wow. What a responsible <laughs> adult thing to do. She's like she's at some Senate hearing right now. Hey, Katie. I, she's got my vote. Your caller 10, if that helps. <laughs> we can get a little honesty here. Uh, your caller 10, what does she want? You get the 21 Pilots tickets. Um, Toyota Center, <laughs> September 4th. I know. Pretty cool. You win them. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Where are you from, Katie? Um, report. Okay. But no problem answering straight on that one. That's huh? right. Right forward, right straight forward. I don't know, here and there, you know. <laughs> I bop around a little bit. I love know. all of Houston. A little bit everywhere. Every, every place is so great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Katie. I'm just happy to be here. I, exactly. I, I'm happy, and I'm really happy to have you on today. I'm glad you won those 21 Pilots <laughs> tickets. Uh, they go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. for everyone else. Have a great day, Katie. Thanks for listening. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, I appreciate the passion. I love the passion, okay? I love it. But all I'm getting right now is Imagine Dragons emails, and what am I not getting? Word suggestions. <laughs> I'm not getting word suggestions. I, I need you to do multiple things. I need you to multitask. Um, don't put them on the same email, though, because I'll get lost. Um, but, yeah, I, I appreciate it. Here's some of the 21 Pilot stuff that's coming in. Uh, Rod, I was just telling my daughter yesterday, I, w I would love to see the Imagine Dragons, but if they played this song, it may ruin the concert for me. Ouch. I mean, she loves Imagine Dragons, wants to see them live. Not that song. Jamie, absolute banger. Loved it. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, Silent Rider. Good morning, Rod. Regarding the Imagine Dragons' new song, Eyes Closed, I found the song extremely busy. I think they overdid it with the vo voice effects, the modulation, and the distortion. Not for me. However, I applaud them for trying something new. <gasps> really nice review, Justin. Oh, another politician. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send uh, these all over to Radio Wizard. I need word suggestions. We're playing Read My Lips next hour. Get your mind right. It's gonna be for those. All right. It's gonna be for those Cole Wetzel tickets. All right. How are you doing, Tia? You good? Or are you starting to? I mean, I know you were. I'm great. Waiting for baby news all night with your sister. I'm great. You Feel still, good. Still got Feel the energy up. I'm, I'm gonna keep it up. Okay. Because you know Chili's coming in here. And you know that guy slept. <laughs> you know he wasn't up all night. He slept enough for all four of us. <laughs> you know that guy got all kinds of sleep yesterday. <laughs> all right. So email me, Rod at the buzz.com. All right. What's up? It's your brother Rod talking about QC Kinetics. It's that time of year to get outside and enjoy life, man. Another beautiful day today. 
and you're telling me that you got all this joint pain and you're not out there living the life that you want to live, the future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management that we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. We're talking about natural biologics here, using your body's own power to repair and restore damaged joint tissue, okay? You just got to get it from one area to the other. Well, that's what Dr. Shine Cup is all about, okay? QC Kinetics is under the leadership of National Medical Director Dr. Shine Cup, a pioneer in this field. He wants to get you relief with a needle and not a knife. Surgery, steroids, drugs, those are no longer your best options, okay? Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. It's a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. 713-913-5285. 713-913-5285. 713-913-5285.
An accident on 610 West Loop northbound before I-10. The Katy Freeway has cleared, but there's still traffic from Bel Air. Now, guys, this has gone down from about an hour delay to about a 15-minute delay. So you can either pack some patients there or take the Beltway, Chimney Rock, also another alternate route for you. Um, But again, under a 15-minute delay as of right now, police investigation wrapping up. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. All right, 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. <laughs> I forgot the guy's name. He said, you can use this email for anything you're asking for. Song sucks. Um, so that was his That was his Imagine Dragons review and his word suggestion for Read My Lips. After I just got done set telling you, don't combine your emails because they'll get lost. I'm like, okay, well, that one was funny. I appreciate you guys. Uh, a lot of words coming in right now. Read My Lips is coming up next hour. Chile.
takes on the Tessa, takes on the Chile. And that's going to go down at around 820 for those Cole Wetzel tickets. People still ask me about those. That Bring Me to Life song that uh-huh. we just heard. Yeah. I promise you it's about the never-ending story, the movie. Is that what you're looking up right I, now? I am in a rabbit hole about the never-ending story and Bring Me to Life. Wake Me Up Inside, Call My Name, and Save Me from the Dark, the nothing, and the never-ending story. Okay, anyway, I know I have news to do, but I just want you to know that that's, that's what I'm on over here, on this side of the room. That's what's going on. That's your ham salad. That is... <laughs> I'm disinterested have in it. Some, have so, a bite. You know what? Here, that story. Here. The story was a little salty for me. Uh-huh. Sunny skies today. High of 84. What are Houston's headlines? Okay. Uh, so I wanted to talk about the highly anticipated solar eclipse. We were just talking about this in the break. Okay. <laughs> Why is this one so much bigger than the last time this happened? Because there was totality on the last one. Not so much for us. They but, happen all the time, dude. But, but I. It's not special. My theory is, is that. It's going through New York, <laughs> and New York is in charge of the news cycle. No, the last one was just on a weekend, and now people get to take off work for a Monday. Okay, that's a difference. So that's why. Okay, that's another difference. Why is this so big? According to meteorologists, it appears that this is the greatest solar eclipse across the U.S. in our lifetime. Maybe because of the path of totality is so much across the United States, it is a big portion of our country. I mean, that's, that's my guess. Okay. That is my, like— remedial guess um they they said they said i guess uh, for the most part the, the solar eclipses that are going to occur for the most part that are going to be visible in our area will not be to the extent that this one is so basically uh we're going to see 94 percent of the sun covered pretty much all of them in the next several decades in our area won't feature the sun covered at 94 percent so the the coverage of 94 percent, i guess is the highest that like in in our in our lifetime. I'll say this. The only thing that, I, it was cool. Last time it happened, it was cool. I was, I, th- I was thinking it was going to get dark. It didn't get dark here. Yeah. It was just as bright as whatever. It, yeah. It, it, it didn't change, uh, you know, just like kind of walking around. I thought that was going to happen. That didn't happen last time. So that was a little bit of a bummer. I'm looking forward it's to it. It's always a bummer. I know. Yeah. I, Close your eyes. All right. Guys. We're excited about it too. Just like everybody. What okay, else? Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, great. Uh, what about the lottery? Are you excited about the lottery? Nobody won last night. No, That's right. So it rolls over. The Powerball jackpot will keep growing. No grand prize winner in last night's big drawing. So that pushes the jackpot up to an estimated $1.23 billion. The next drawing isn't till Saturday. Okay, now you know that. Now, I want you to also know it's National Burrito Day. Okay. A bunch of national chains have deals. Um, the best deals out there probably come from Chipotle and Taco Bell. So Chipotle ran this contest this week where people could try and guess an exact order and then win a buy one, get one deal. They gave out a bunch of codes. Um, I believe uh, 50 of those people that got codes will win free burritos for a year. Taco Bell has a buy one, get one half off deal. It has to be of equal or lesser, lesser value, one per customer. You have to use the app for that, by the way. Uh, Baja Fresh, which I don't know that we have a Baja Fresh here in in Houston. I'm sure, there's one in Conroe. Yeah, probably. What about a Cadoba? Cadoba. That I don't think I've ever heard of. Okay, well, if you're a rewards member, you get a free burrito with any entree and drink. You know how people have their favorite French fries at fast food places, or they have their favorite, you know, hamburger. I do. Do you have yeah. your favorite burrito? No. Is, or is there just I, too much, too many options? Um, I mean, for quickness, I mean, I think Chipotle. Yeah. Has a pretty nails burrito. Like Chipotle, I know a lot of people like maybe don't like it or stick their nose a bit. Like obviously it's not real authentic Mexican food, but they do a nails burrito bowl. They okay. do a great salad. And they do a great burrito. Are they uh, offering a special today? Uh, yeah. They're they one are, of them? Yes. Okay. Yes. Their burrito Good. vault is, is open this week. Okay. Also, uh, Conan O'Brien is going to appear on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. That's going to happen Tuesday night. It'll be his first time back since he uh, had a short-lived stint as a host that ended 14 years ago. So he replaced Jay Leno in June of 2009 and then was replaced by Jay in January of 2010. And Conan did have his own late-night show for a while, but he's going to be on a travel series. I think, man, this is like... This is like a dream job. Conan O'Brien must go. He visits new friends in Norway, Thailand, Argentina, and Ireland. The first episode premieres April 18th on Max. Alex, just stop worrying about when Tool's new album's going to come out. I could care. Stop no asking. Less than I do right now. <laughs> the interview is here. 
Tool's next album won't take as long to come out as the last one. Okay, they're notorious. This band is notorious for taking their sweet ass time it's between suck albums. No matter what. Now listen, they say they have um, a lot of creativity. They say there there's a lot of egos in the band. There's other things going on. You think? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, according to Adam Jones, a guitar player, he says most of the people that you talk to us are like, when's your next record? Um, when's your next one? They say they are very self. They have a very selfish approach to their art. It's their rules. Okay, they do things their own way. Go read the article, Alex, on the music blog page. Those are Houston's headlines. Is it 45 minutes to read? All right. <laughs> 40 words? Nobody needs your commentary on tour. guitar track while you scroll down for the first 30,000 times. If there was only something going on in sports. Well, there's a Come few on! Things. Texans got a new receiver yesterday. They made a trade with the Bills for four-time Pro Bowler Stephon Diggs. In exchange for Diggs, the Texans gave up the Bills. The Texans gave the Bills their second-round pick in next year's draft, not this year's draft, the 2025 draft. So Texans now have Diggs, Nico Collins, and Tank Dell at wide receiver heading into next season, looking pretty stacked. Whew. You can go read all about this on the sports blog page today. In baseball, Astros got a win last night. They shut out the Blue Jays 8 to nothing. Jordan Alvarez homered twice in the game. Their team's going to have the day off today before they open up a weekend series with the Rangers tomorrow night in Arlington. And in basketball, Rockets are back in action tonight. They're going to host the Warriors at the Toyota Center. Tip-off is at 7. You can hear that one on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. Check out the sports blog page if you haven't. You don't have to care about hockey, but there is a five-on-five brawl that just started a game. The puck dropped, and then everybody dropped gloves. (laughs) Everybody fought. It was awesome. It went on for like five minutes. It was, it was Why great. is it so awesome? Is it because everyone's Everyone. fighting? Yeah, okay. uh, you know, there's one fight. I mean, when there's one fight in hockey, you're hockey, you lose That's your mind. Awesome. But when everyone's squaring off against one another, That's cool. And it's all led by this rookie. This Matt ki- Rimpy. Yes, th- this kid's 21 years old, 6'6". Six, six. And he's just a badass or a what? Goon. He just wants to fight. <laughs> he just wants to fight out there. That's it's how awesome. I was when I was his age. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't think he won his fight. I think it was either he a stalemate care. or he slightly lost, and he's all bloodied up, and he's just smiling on the way to the penalty box. He doesn't care. And then they all got ejected. Eight ejections off of that fight. Pretty great. Check it out. Sports blog page today. All right, Alex, don't go far. I need you I here. I will not. Hulu on Disney Plus, it's here. Alex is always on me about all the streaming mm-hmm. stuff. Now he's telling me that I can watch the hottest Hulu movies, shows, and originals all on Disney Plus. Hulu content like Poor Things, Vanderpump Villa, FX's Sh- uh, Shogun, available on Disney Plus now. We've also got shows like Abbott Elementary, The Only Murders in the Building, Solar Opposites, and our favorite, The Bear, yes. as well as classics like The Simpsons. They got new classics like Wish, Little Mermaid, Elemental. Those are all big, big in my house. Action-packed adventures like Loki Season 2 right there. Streaming new content has never been easier. Your favorites from Hulu and Disney Plus are now together like they've never been before. All these and more now streaming. Disney Bundle subscription required. Terms apply. Visit DisneyPlus.com slash Hulu for details. Okay, let's take a look at your commute. How are we doing on 610 South Loop westbound between Crestmont and Scott? There's some traffic there on the south side. Uh, The 610 West Loop accident northbound before I-10 Katy Freeway has been cleared, but there's still some backup, about a 15-minute delay from Brazewood. The Beltway or Chimney Rock are your alternate routes. That's your reg check on 94.5 The Buzz.
All right, 94.5 The Buzz, Lincoln Park, in the end. I was wondering if that story that I kind of buried it. It was just one article on yesterday's music blog page talking about possibly putting a female in there to front Lincoln Park. Hmm. No one really grabbed the article. It didn't go viral or anything like that. But if you want to go catch up on it, you want to see what that's all about. I don't know. You know, I think it's just kind of one person maybe taking a guess. Uh, There is something on today's music blog page. Uh, You had mentioned this earlier in or maybe last week that Lizzie Hale is going to be filling in for the band Skid Row. And they, they, they got this singer from some, you know, idol show in Iceland or something. And... They thought they had their perfect fit. This He's young. He could wail. He could hit all the notes from those old Skid Row songs. And then he's got major health issues. So they did an album with him. They debuted them as debuted this guy as their new singer. This is a new look band. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, I got to bow out. He's got to take care of himself. Right. So they have all these commitments. And Lizzie Hale's going to fill in. And I think it's like right now it's like four or five shows. She immediately said, this is a pretty good gig. I'm here for it. Not as a perm. I don't know that she would. I don't know that. I, I, I don't. She seemed like she was leaving it open to maybe become some sort of a permanent fixture in the band. Right. Yeah. And then I, I just went on. I, I sing the praises of Lizzie Hale all the time. There's nothing that woman cannot sing. I mean, she could be in. She could be in any band. She could be. She could be the chicken Lincoln Park easily. Maybe not easily, but. She can n- sing anything. Is she right. can. She really can. And if you want to see something, you were I know that you're obsessed with that Evanescent song, but did you ever see the duet between her and Amy Lee? It's a YouTube video, and it shows them in the studio performing the song. Oh, no. I mean, I, I mean angels on the earth. Go look at them two yeah. singing, and geez, they're just out trying to outwail each other. And it's just, it's, it's a beautiful song. I, I, the song, the title escapes me right now. Great job, everybody, on sending me your word suggestions. Um, I'm ready to go. Chili's going to be in here taking on Tessa. We got Read My Lips coming up. It's going to be for those Cole Wetzel tickets. So that's a that's a really, really big deal. Uh, Rod, Best Burritos are at Cabo Bob's. Oh, I've heard of that place. A I've t- never tried it. A Texas-based place with great burritos and tacos, especially the fish taco slash burrito. Interesting. Several Houston area locations. Oh, that's from Chad MC. He's, he gives good suggestions. Uh, Cabo Bob's, I was okay, asking. Cabo Bob's, a Texas-owned place. I'm I'm down to try it. I don't like it when people are like, Free Birds is good. I'm like, mm, we're different people. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not Free a, Birds I'm not a... and Chipotle different from one another? I mean, maybe I just need to try Free Birds again, but I've tried it a couple times, and, you know, I'm a Chipotle girl. What do you want? Um, I know you guys love when new terms are coined for something that people have been doing for a long time. If you're the lead singer of a band, and I think this is because of some European singer has been posting about it on social media. She's a singer. So what she needs to do is she needs to rest her voice. And she kind of has a thing where she's not talking until noon. After her shows are done, yeah. boom. Voice rest. It, you vo- well, no. Why would you call it voice rest? It's called speech fasting. Ah, right, <laughs> right. Alex, silly, silly Alex, me. just walk sure away. Alex, Alex, walk away from it. He could break no. the whole studio S- apart right S- now. Just why don't you speech fast on this whole topic? Yeah, you go on a little fasty poo. Uh, people are avoiding talking until noon. Do you have a job? I mean, okay, the singer, the European singer that's kind of talking about this, I understand. But, like, who's jumping on this thing? Who doesn't have to talk until noon? Do you remember the I think a lot of people don't. I feel like we talk a lot. We're in the communication business, but a lot of people, all they have to do is get up and check their email. They don't have to. Who do they have to call? Everything's automatic. There's nothing. eh, Tell me. I'm, I'm not. Listen. You think a lot of people could easily not talk until noon? Easily. A lot of easily. people? And you know what? And I think those are the people that I run into in the hall at 12.01 because they're ready. They're ready to go at 12.01. Do you guys remember, did y'all have the theater kids that when they would do the musical, they would be on vocal rest? And so they'd be in class like, I, I can't talk. I've got the, I've got the play. It's like, you had, what, you had to do two shows this weekend? <laughs> they were the only, at, at college, we shared a quad with, we didn't call them the actors, we called them the over-actors. Uh-huh. Um, so the radio people 
were only, I mean, they were the, the radio people were obnoxious. Go, shocker. The only people more obnoxious were the over actors or the theater people. Mm. I don't, not one of those sons of bitches rested their voice. They use the they, they use the natural echo of the quad to be louder. Well, it was like the loudest way ever that anybody's <laughs> rested their voice, where they had to make sure that you knew that they were resting their voice, and they're writing stuff, and they're trying to get your attention. They're flagging you down. You're like, dude, I'm just not going to pay attention to you today, man. This is not going to be good for me. Prolonged periods of silence dramatically lowered blood pressure in studies. See? Mm. I mean, I never shut my yapper. No that's, wonder I've got high blood pressure. That's why. <laughs> it can also help to reduce levels of stress hormones, uh, the stress hormone cortisol. And in mice, it has been shown to promote brain growth. I'm not a mouse. Dude, I, okay. like, I like a little quiet, quiet time. Check out the big brain on that muted mouse over there. He never talks. He's the smartest one we got. Yeah. Smartest guy in the room won't say a word. <laughs> how do you know he's smart? He doesn't talk. <laughs> that's why. That's why. I like to show you just how dumb I am by talking nonstop. It's time to read my lips. I'm going to have Chili in the room. Chili's got the biggest brain on the show. Yeah, he does. I mean, according to this. Yeah. Um, Chili will join us in studio. He's going to take on Tessa. I will do one final scan on word suggestions for read my lips. So it's not too late to shoot me an email. Rod at the buzz .com. Yo, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about Red Mountain Weight Loss. Their revolutionary weight loss medication is called Revelex. Now, Red Mountain Weight Loss has been in the weight loss game for a long time. But now with everybody freaking out, and I mean freaking out about semaglutide, it's working. It's FDA approved for weight loss. Well, then the folks over at Red Mountain Weight Loss who have been doing this for a long time, they knew exactly what moves to make. Semaglutide is the main ingredient in their product called Revelex. Now, Revelex is half the price of the other semaglutide meds out there on the market right now. It is in stock. They are waiting to fill your prescription. There are no back orders. It comes in a full-strength daily tablet. There are no needles, okay? Yes, this is what's being hailed as the new wonder drug, okay? Semaglutide, main ingredient of Revelex. Well, what does this wonder drug do? Well, how about losing up to 15 pounds per month? Full-strength Revelex medication helps to shrink your belly, hips, and thighs. Schedule your appointment to get started on Revelex today. Dial pound 250, keyword red mountain weight loss. That's pound 250, keyword red mountain weight loss. Hey, it's Tessa. So I just want to be honest. Uh, when Plat Planet Fitness said, hey, you want to you work together? I said, oh my gosh, yes, this is the sign I have been needing because I had such a hot girl summer last year. I was getting it. And then the holidays, you know, I got my new gig. So I, I needed a little swift kick and I needed some motivation. I looked up Planet Fitness gyms in my area and there is one less than a thousand feet from the station. Okay. So if you are sick of being upsold at gyms and you just want to get in there and get a workout done, Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. They are not pushy. Always free fitness training, equipment for everyone to work out. I got my workout, a long time coming workout yesterday. I feel great. Then I did some red light therapy machines because I got the black card there. So listen, it's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just a dollar down, $10 a month. You can cancel that anytime. This is a deal that ends Friday, though, April 12th. Get in there and see Home Club for details.
An accident reported on I-45 southbound at Cross Timbers. It's a 20-minute delay from traffic from Shepherd Over in Midtown, heads up on 69 between FM 527 and the downtown split. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Welcome back, Rod Ryan's show. Alex, you got a new podcast up today. We do have a new podcast up today. So reliable, huh? Yeah, every Wednesday, and we'll have another Tuesday one next week. But um, we talked about zipper shaming, and then we learned about zipper cleavage. Yeah, that's very important. We did a mock draft of overrated things. We discussed how stupid the eclipse is. <laughs> no. Um, Wait a minute. She's, Alex. she's doing the complete opposite story here. I'm, well, I'm going to I'm gonna just debunk whatever you're saying. And then we also tell <laughs> you why you. Instacart is a scam. So all kinds of stuff. Wow. On Passive Gravy. Check it out. I just posted it. So it's up right now on our website. Links and guests. Yep. Okay. Uh, there you have it. Sunny skies today. High of around 84. Uh, what's trending? Okay, so did you hear that Adam Sandler... Adam Sandler was on the Dan Patrick Show, and he was saying that he wanted all the happy Gilmore actors who have died to be honored some way in the upcoming sequel. Well, yeah, that Canadian guy just passed away, and then I guess Bob Barker's no longer here. Yeah. Even, even though it was a bit part. Carl but it was Weathers. Carl Weathers, right. Right. So what, he wants to do some sort of a tribute? He says we're going to get them involved somehow. He's like, we love those guys. They're such a big... They were such a big part of the movie and just great people, so, um, you know, some sort... Sort of homage. I, I don't know. Alex, um, do you want, I mean, it's happening, but are you nervous about a Happy Gilmore part two? Do you um, want, do you want it, do, would you rather it be left alone? I mean, I'll watch it. If it's not great, I just won't ever go watch it again. Yeah. So I don't really care. That'd it doesn't cool. seem like that needs a part two It'll to make me. Money. You know? Yeah, yeah, it will. Well, it's part of his Netflix deal. Yeah. He's just got to, all he has to do is just churn out movies for his Netflix deal. Awesome. They don't care if they work or not. He just has to hit a certain number. Have you heard of uh, Cicada Geddon? The the little the summer bug. Oh yeah, I they, hate them. Yeah, they come like every like six or seven years. It's they, they make all the noise. Apparently, there is going to be a huge invasion of these bugs. It's going to be the biggest bug emergence in centuries for us. They're saying, um, you know, they do they do this kind of every thirteen or seventeen years, uh, but they are going <sighs> to be out in full force. Like there's going to be extra cicadas, and there because there are two broods coming out at the same time in a couple parts of the United States I saw this story are going to be totally invaded. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I kind of, yeah, that's not my favorite bug. But um, Locust. They don't bite, though. No, they don't. They're, but they're loud and they got big wings and, they, and they, they'll they run into you. Like, they're... Yeah. Yeah, okay. They don't so, give AF. They don't. And then some ex-users are are given complimentary blue checks. Um, so you might be confused on the ex this week. Last week, Musk said... Uh, Complimentary blue checks. All X accounts with over 2,500 verified subscriber followers will get premium features. And then um, accounts with over 5,000 will get premium plus for free. So people are commenting about getting the blue checks. Um, Did they, they come out on April Fool's Day? Um I don't I don't know. They don't want them. Other people no, because people actually got these checks. Oh, okay. Um but anyway, Elon hasn't commented about it yet, so we're not gonna say that's the final word. Those are that's uh what's problems. trending. All right, um, man's got his own music. Chili, will you stop your speech fasting and come in here and play a game with us? Or are you still speech fasting? I am talking. <laughs> <laughs> He's saving. It, that's his instrument. I mean, it, right. It's his tool. That, that is his instrument. He's saving it. Do you think you'd be up for playing a game with us here in studio? I've been saving it all week. Just for this moment. Okay, he's been saving up his voice. Okay. How do you not choose him? Well, you got Tessa right there, too. Uh, Chili or Tessa? It's for the Cole Wetzel tickets. I don't have to tell you guys that that's what everybody wants, right? Like, they, 
when they choose you, they are really, really banking on you winning them those tickets. Of course. Before they go on sale. All right. All right. Chile or Tessa, who's going to win them for you? 713 212 5945. Okay. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. It's Yellow Card Ocean Avenue. Sunny skies today. 84 will be the high. I see no chances of rain. Looks pretty much like a carbon copy of what we had yesterday. I'm taking a quick peek over here. Make sure you vote for today's hashtag Throwback Thursday, the song of the day. Uh, Myself along with Captain Cash's wife, Mama Cash, uh, we voted for Silverchair. Oh, yeah. She texted me that she was thinking that this morning. She's a huge Silverchair fan. She voted. I voted. Pure Massacre, 60% of the vote. Uh, 20% Sponge Plowed. Alex in last place. White Stripes, Icky Thump, 19% Boo. of the vote. Lay dull. Lay dull. Later. Okay. Ladles. Your ladle ladles are sleeping over there. Yeah, don't wake them up. <laughs> Chili's all butt hurt because nobody chose him for um, Read My Lips. That's too bad. Why wouldn't they choose him? He, it was because you were on a voice fast? He broke his vocal fast and he said, <laughs> hey man, nobody picked me. Yeah. I'm not even going to try today. You better I'm not. try. You are going to try. Coetzel tickets? I'm not going to reward that loser for picking you Tessa. drive me and drive me good. <laughs> drive me smooth. That's it. You drive that's me, it. You drive me it's smooth. time to read my lips. Will your music help to get you fired up yeah, a little bit? Get your mind yeah. right. All right. Robert, good morning. 
Hey, what's up, bud? Why didn't you just choose Chile? Why were you forced to take Chile? Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> I don't know. He was second asked. choice, but uh, he, he was my second choice. But, uh, you know, I'll take whoever. <laughs> Chile, you were the second choice. That's not bad. That's number two. If you ain't first, you last. Just you're like number two, baby. You're number two, baby. You're number two. Now, John apparently must have gotten through first. Hi, John. Hey, how's it going, man? And uh, you scooped up Tessa as your uh, as the person playing for you to win these great tickets today, huh? Sure did. She won for me a couple years back, so I figured why not try to try to get that win again. Little she's, repeat. She's got five wins on the season. Chili's got one though. Chili's off the Schneid. Who's the returning champion? Chili. Whoa! I mean, oh yeah. Oh. I mean, Robert, yeah. nobody needs you right now, okay? He's already <laughs> upset enough. Yeah, Robert. Just sit there. I I, I got chili, man. We're going to win this. <laughs> you want me to go first? Well, Tessa's going well, first. Well, well, well. All right. Let me let me get ready. I wasn't quite ready to go I first. just want Robert to sweat it more. <laughs> I know, That's an odd. I think chili always just goes first. Yeah. Robert, he's trying something new. I think he's going to try to win these for you. I no. Think. I think he's going to try to win these for you. Okay. I think I'm going back on voice first. These have been shuffled, and here comes the words. I just assumed you always go first. Yeah, it's trying something new. Okay. Because she wants to to get that seventh win so she can tie Alex. I'm not going to allow that. Five. This would be win six for her. Oh, her six win. Okay. All right, John, listen up. Your gal's about to uh, read my lips. 20 seconds. Alex, you're the timekeeper mm-hmm. today. How are you? Good to go. You upset about the uh, white stripes in last place? Uh, no. You not do. at all. That answer told me everything I needed <laughs> to hear. All right, here we go. 20 seconds on the clock. Adam sent this one in. It got sent in by a bunch of people. I think it's funny, though. I like saying it. Thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up. Nut mobile. Hmm. Nuts pooping. Nut mobile. Nut mobile. Nutmobile. 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 That was not easy. The uh, the application is still up on the food blog page yesterday, yeah. Chile. Uh, if you want to drive the Nutmobile, it's not the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. It's the second most famous food vehicle out there. Uh, the Planner's Nutmobile. Nuts pooping. Looking for uh, drivers. All right, Phil and about a million other people sent this one in. 20 seconds on the clock. Alex, as soon as I say the word, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Crazy ant. Critical, what, say it again. Crazy ant. Cruising hand. Crazy ant. Crazy hand. Crazy ant. Crazy hands. Crazy. Crazy aunt. Aunt. Crazy aunt? Crazy aunt? Crazy, Crazy aunt. aunt. <laughs> if she wasn't going to get that. Good. If she wasn't going to get that, uh, I was going to be upset. That me. That me. Nutmobile. Crazy aunt. What could possibly be next? <laughs> Psycho aunt. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Who's laughing over there in the peanut gallery? John, Robert, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Ashley with an I sent this one in. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hammer hang. Say it again. Hammer hang. Amber ale. Hammer hang. Amber egg. Hammer hang. Hammer. 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 Hang. Hammer hang. Hammer egg. Hammer head. Hammer head. Hang. Hammer. Tang. Oh, so close, so close, so close. Oh. What was it? What was it? Mm. It was hammer hand. Hammer hang. How's your hammer hanging? Oh, God. How's your hammer hanging? Chili? Uh, to the left a little. Yeah? <laughs> oh, God. Good enough for John Ham. Good enough for Chili. Yeah. Okay. That's where Ham puts his. <laughs> I was so close to getting beat. You know how I'm being quiet on that. I'm not following anything after that. Never mind. That. There's going to be enough crud coming yeah. out of your mouth coming up, for God's sakes. All right. Crank it. All right. All right. I'm in C right now, Alex. So, Chili needs two to tie, three to win. It's time, time to read my lips. lips. 
Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba <laughs> I think he's gonna try. He's he he acted like he wasn't gonna try. He's gonna try. He's gonna try for these guys. Tilly's got it. Tilly's got it. Robert, you've done enough. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Damn it, Robert! You're just gonna make Chili mad. All right, he can, you're right. He can't hear you, anyways. All right, here we go. Uh, Twenty seconds on the clock for your twin brother, Alex. Mm -hmm. Davina, which I think was Keith, sent this one in. What's up, buddy? You got this. All right, here we go. Thumbs up. Be one with the words. All right, here we go. <laughs> Trash dragon. Trash dragon. Trash dragon. Trash dragon. Trash. Try it. Trash dragon. <laughs> dragon. Jesus Christ. He knows I'm not saying that. Trashy nalgas. Trash dragon. Dragon. Trash wreck. Trash dragon. Time. Time. Trash dream. Trash dragon. Trash girl. Dragging my balls over your face. Ta what? <laughs> Tell me he doesn't still think there's some time on the clock. It's like, what? Is that my time already? <laughs> it's like, well, you kept your mouth moving. Uh-oh. Dragon? Or dragon? Dragon. They did. <laughs> oh. Trash dragon. Trash they did, dragon. They didn't like the Imagine Dragon song. Right. Trash. Ah. Right. Trash dragon. Right. Okay. Come on. This. One more to lose. <laughs> you can do it. All right. Todd oh. sent this one in. Chili's playing around with the equipment here. All right. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Summer smash. Summer smash. Dumber for smashing? Summer smash. Double smash. Summer smash. Stumble smash. Summer smash. Summer smash. Summer smash. Oh, smash. Got it. Got it. Oh, we got a game. Oh my we got a game. God. We got a game. Wow. I bet Robert's sweating right now. Wow. He said, hell yeah. Robert, does, Robert is not on any kind of a vocal fast. Nope. Hi, Robert. Nope. Hey. You're lucky your boy's playing this hard, okay? I think, you, I think you hurt his feelings. <laughs> I think you hurt his feelings. But he's still trying to win you these tickets. Okay, uh, he needs this to tie. Yeah, I hope he doesn't get it. Okay, here we go. All right, this is to go into OT. Sonia, thank you, you for- You sit there and think about what you chose, Robert. Sonia? Here we go. You ready? Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. All right. Down. Diaper daddy. Diaper daddy. Double sagging? Diaper <laughs> daddy. Diaper daddy. It says salad, ham salad? Diaper <laughs> daddy. Diaper. Diaper rash? Diaper daddy. Mm. Diaper aunt. Diaper daddy. Mm. Diaper daddy. Oh! For Andy comfort, well, dude, it was too close for comfort. What did you just say? What did you just oh, say? Oh, that's nanny. But you, what? Did, I thought you just said it. Di no. Diaper daddy. Oh, diaper daddy. So close, Robert. Yeah, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Later. Go. Just later. go. <laughs> Bye, Robert. Later, John. Loser. Oh, John. Congratulations. Later, later. <laughs> hey, John Rodriguez. Yes, sir. I appreciate that win, Tessa. Hey, no problem. You want these t Cole Wetzel tickets at Woodlands Pavilion? Would you like a pair of those? I, I love a pair of those. They're all yours. Congratulations. Appreciate y'all. Tessa, I gave you the win. Yeah, and honestly, congratulations to Chile for doing the right thing. He gave those. He gave that win to you, Crazy Ant? Yep. <laughs> all right, let's break. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's break. Uh, still to come. Jeez. Black Crow's tickets, 9 o'clock hour, for their show Friday night. Uh, I got to weave in a concert announcement, and then we're going to leave you with Black Keys tickets on Know the Show. So, yeah, 9 o'clock hour is going to be insane. I mean, I know we got 20 minutes, but 9 o'clock hour is going to be insane.
Hey, it's Tessa, and I'm always bragging about Specs because they make it so easy to go in, get what you want, and then all the gourmet goodies and seize candy. Yeah, that's at the San Felipe Fountain View location of Specs, which just opened up. It's right in my neighborhood. So I go in there to get inspired. And then when I can't make it in, I go to specsonline.com. Why? Well, the experts there will give you a ton of recipes, seasonal stuff, let you know what's going on, and you can order same-day delivery. Now, if you've got some time and you want to go to the flagship location, that's on Smith street that's a really fun place to go as well okay so whatever your palate is craving you know all of your bar goodies you can do that on a budget doesn't have to cost a million dollars just to get a world-class wine or spirit or beer okay so go to specsonline.com and always remember that the fun starts here
There are pockets of stop and go, like on I-45 North Freeway, uh, going southbound between Shepherd and East Tex. About a 20-minute delay there. Heads up in Tomball, Highway 99 between FM 2920 and Gosling. You're delayed about 10 minutes there. And an accident just cleared in Midtown on 69 at the downtown split. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Uh, that guy just cleaned up, like like he's cleaned up at every award show that he's been to. But why would our iHeart Radio Music Awards be any different? I think he got best new country artist and best new chr best new pop artist. That's awesome. Just talk about just smashing the lines on everything. Some my ass. Jelly roll. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it, man. His uh, his trophy room is packed already. We got sunny skies today, no rain, highs of around 84. I'm going to get to some Black Crows tickets. I'm going to get to some Black Keys tickets in the 9 o'clock hour. Yeah, I'm going to sprinkle in a concert announcement as well. So all of that is coming uh, in the 9 spot. I hope you join us for the fourth and final hour of the show.
Tessa right now has Houston's headlines. Well, just in case you didn't know, this morning the northbound lanes of 610 West Loop were closed near I-10, the KD Freeway, because there was a deadly crash early this morning. Now, here's what police say happened. They say an off-duty lieutenant, who they believe was on his way home, hit and killed a person that was crossing the freeway around 2.25 a.m. So all traffic had to be diverted off the freeway at I-10. That caused major delays for drivers in the area. And there's still a little bit of delay in that area because that was just like a trickle-down effect. Investigators say they don't know why the pedestrian was trying to cross the freeway. Uh, the off-duty lieutenant was driving an unmarked city vehicle during the crash. And um, after the impact, an, an SUV hit that lieutenant's car. So, yeah, um, luckily, the two people inside the SUV, the lieutenant, they weren't hurt. But this is an ongoing investigation, and it lasted for several hours this morning. So investigators asked drivers to avoid the area early on. But that's just an FYI and what was happening on the commute this morning really affected the Powerball jackpot, it's keep it's it's kept growing because there was no grand prize winner in last night's big drawing. So now the jackpot has been pushed up to an estimated one point two three billion dollars, and the next drawing won't be until Saturday. People have made dying wishes. Um for their funerals, uh, this is a fascinating last wish. A 68-year-old woman in the UK, she unfortunately died of breast cancer recently, but she had a sense of humor. Her funeral was held last month, and on her command, the Grim Reaper showed up. Yeah, her dying wish was to have a friend show up to the funeral dressed as a reaper and to point to people saying, you're next. And it was meant to be funny, not terrifying, so the family did pre-warn everyone, and a few people decided not to attend because they weren't really into it. Um, but yeah, she said, uh, yeah, the woman's daughter gave like an interview with the BBC and said, yeah, this so, is what mom wanted. I got an email this morning, and somebody, they thought enough of the story. They went and go, they went to go look at it on Links and Guests. Okay. They said, I was wondering, I'm wondering if Rod put a picture up, or Chili put a picture up, and there is a picture of the Reaper. Uh, this is not a Party City Reaper. This is a legit reaper, okay? Pretty yeah. scary. And if it was in the UK, it was probably like foggy and like barren. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, you guys are the ones that told me that you have to respect whatever wishes that the that the, did. the deceased have. We did. Like and Alex Viking funeral, no questions asked. Yep. I don't think your and mom is going to allow I, this. I'll be dead. It won't count. And anyone matter. that didn't vote for his TBT song, also not allowed. Oh, you're getting, he's getting killed. Don't even bring up TBT. He is getting killed right now. I was just making up my own rules. If you want to see the Reaper, the story, it's all on the world famous Rod Ryan Show page at thebuzz.com. Yep. Okay, uh, Warner Brothers announced yesterday that a fifth Matrix movie is in the works. It'll be written and directed by Drew Goddard. He's the guy who wrote Cloverfield, World War Z, and The Martian. One of the original creators um, will be the executive producer on the movie, and it's still very early on. So here's what we don't have. We don't have plot details yet. We don't know if it's going to be a direct sequel or have any returning characters. We don't know the potential release date, but we do know that Drew apparently came up to an executive with this new idea that would be an incredible way to continue the Matrix world, um, which began over 25 years ago. So if they think enough of the idea that they're saying, okay, we'll do a Matrix 5. Um, yeah, if you love the series, you love the characters, you're excited about this. I appreciate everybody that contacted me that said, I too, Rod, have not watched the Matrix. Really? And it, Lots and of you out there. But it's not something that you advertise. I don't run around telling people that I've never seen the Matrix, but when it comes up, I kind of feel I should keep hmm. it to myself. <laughs> Don't share this. <laughs> and I shared it today. Yeah. I tell you guys too so much. Bra so brave. So brave. I've never seen any Matrixes, okay? Get over it. Stars like Katy Perry, Billie Eilish, the Jonas Brothers, Imagine Dragons, and more have joined a petition against the use of artificial intelligence, AI, in music creation saying it can threaten to, it can be a threat to real human artists' rights. The Artists' Rights Alliance initiated the petition urging AI developers and tech companies to cool it with devaluing artists. You can go read the full petition on the music blog page. Those are Houston's headlines. The man's getting destroyed on Throwback Thursday. He hasn't even voted. He doesn't even okay? care. He's getting killed, and he's pretending like he doesn't bother him. You told me not to say anything about it. Uh, <laughs> Texans got a new receiver yesterday. They made a trade with the Bills for four-time Pro Bowler Stephon Diggs in exchange for Diggs. Texans gave the Bills their second-round pick next year, so Texans are now going to have Diggs, Nico Collins, and Tank Dell at receiver heading into the next season. 
The Astros got a win last night. They shut out the Blue Jays 8 to nothing. Jordan Alvarez homered twice in that game. They're going to have a day off today before they open up a weekend series at the Rangers tomorrow night on the road. And in basketball, the Rockets will be back in action tonight. They'll be at Toyota Center to host the Warriors. Tip-off is at 7, and you can hear it on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. That is what's going on in sports. When was the last time you saw a five-on-five fight in hockey? Everybody except the goalies was going at it in the beginning yeah. of that Ranger Devil. You know, it's the New York taking on New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Right out of the gate, five fights. I don't remember the last time I've seen that. I like the end of a game, you'll see that yes. sometimes. But yeah, to start it, uh, Matt Rimpy for the Rangers, I think he's done that. This is his third time doing that right off the bat because usually he makes people mad and then they want to fight him right off the start. So he's like, all right, let's go. And he's a rookie. He's 21 years old. He's been in the most fights in the NHL so far this year. <laughs> he hasn't even played a full season. He like, Came in halfway through the season. A goon. And, and he's fights. And you can awesome. you can spot him on the ice because he's always got like some marking on his face. He's black he's eye. playing with a black eye. He's already missing a tooth. Yeah, right. it's pretty great. But uh, go check out the hockey fight on the sports blog page. So you yeah. got the whole fight? All of it. Oh, it's, it's great. Gl- Guys it being dudes. Glorious. Hey, what's up? your brother Rod talking about the future of medicine. It's here at QC Kinetics with four locations, more coming here in the Houston area. QC is the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management in decades, regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints and your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, those are the old ways. Those are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics, transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. Talking about natural biologics. QC Kinetics is under the leadership of uh, National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup. Now, Dr. Scheinkup Shine Cup is a pioneer in this field, 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teachings, publishing. He wants to get your relief with a needle and not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now and learn more about some exciting options for you. 713-913-5285. Call QC Kinetics for a free consultation. 713-913-5285. 713-913-5285. An accident's cleared on 69 northbound at the downtown split, but there's still some stop-and-go traffic from Westland. There is a lot of stop-and-go on the East Tech southbound between Liberty and 288, and then about a 10-minute delay on the east side, I-10, between Wayside, Highway 90, and San Jacinto. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz.
All right, here we go. 94.5, The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Throwback Thursday. Silver Chair is killing it this morning. Uh, make sure you go and you cast your vote on the world famous Rod Ryan Show page at thebuzz.com. We have no rain to worry about. We have sunny skies and highs of around 84. Um, I do have a concert announcement, and I'm going to give away the first pair of tickets. Let me make sure I have that. I do have that. Um, but I just got sent this. Uh, uh, our good friend uh, Brian Erickson works down the hall. Uh, he's like the big guy over at KTRH. Uh, Kiss, like many other bands, uh, uh-huh. we know that Kiss retired, right? They did their show at Madison Square Garden, and they even said, listen, avatars are coming. There's going to be some virtual Kiss experience, which, oh, right, right. which they're going to probably charge you a regular concert ticket price to see a bunch of avatars running around. Um, but they worked with something, this company called Pop House Entertainment. And when we hear about some of these classic rock bands selling their catalog, meaning the rights to their songs, this pop house then becomes the temporary or whatever the deal is. They become the owner of that music and they can now license that. What I'm saying is you're probably going to hear Kiss songs in some commercials coming up and, and, and things like that. What kind of money did Kiss get for their catalog? Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's just the songs that Gene and Paul wrote, but there's going to be avatars. There is a biopic coming. There is a documentary coming. Hell yeah. There's already been 10 documentaries on the band. We need more. And something called a kiss experience, which I'm assuming that is going to be the avatar show. Um, to give them the license to do all of this. Uh, Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley are going to split three hundred million dollars. Oh damn! <laughs> I'd I'd do that. It's a solid business. <laughs> That's pretty good money. Three hundred million dollars for the Kiss catalog. It's not not bad. My jaw's on the floor. That's insane. That's you know, I, I, if somebody I mean, gave you a, 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 I guess a hundred fifty million since they're splitting it. If somebody's like Rod for all of the Rod Ryan show stuff you've ever done, all the past shows for all of it ever. Not everything but sip, who's sipping the soup. No, especially that. I that, can't. That, they're going to give you extra money for that. Chowder. But, like, would you do it? You'd do it for $150 million, right? Golly. I would sell everything I've ever done for I might, $150 million. I might sign everything away for a hundred grand. I mean, and I'll throw in my soul for. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like Bruce Springsteen maybe got half a billion. I can't yeah, remember I some of these numbers. Too. The Fleetwood Mac, like I think uh, your girl was uh, Stevie? Stevie Nicks, maybe got a hundred million guy myself, but or something. Didn't but Bob Dylan get that? Bob Dylan got a lot of money. Some mm-hmm. of it's undisclosed. Some of it is more talked about than others. Um, all the big bands are doing it now. It's just at, you're at the end of your span, and it's like one last way to cash in on your body of work that you've done. And I mean, some bands are doing it, and they're getting, you know, $20 million. I'm trying to think of a, a what level band would do that. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. But $300 million, that's that's top tier. Yeah. That's, that's top tier stuff right there. Generational wealth. You're buying the, generational, generational wealth. But what sounds different about this one, for like a Bruce Springsteen, you're buying the catalog of music. This sounds like they're selling... The Kiss brand, yeah, the like you know, they're selling the likenesses, the, wigs, the pyro, the makeup, the makeup. Yeah, 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 the clothes. Ooh, JoJo Siwa might be in trouble then. Oh yeah, JoJo's gonna owe big time. Uh, Gene signed off on it. Gene okay. said Gene liked it. Um, well, he's selling her image too now. If you haven't seen JoJo, yeah, great point. JoJo Siwa, Siwa, what is her name? Siwa. Siwa. Yeah. So uh, she's in uh, she's in the Bad Girl era, I guess. I guess. Uh, <laughs> Very hot right now. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting to see that it's just a way of keeping the band's uh, catalog and keeping their brand around for years. This, I don't know where, is it Saudi backed? I don't know where the money comes from. <laughs> that's what's insane. It's the same company that's giving away hundreds of millions of dollars to these artists. And they must think that they're going to, I mean, it, a simple business model. If you're going to give Kiss $300 million, you're thinking you're going to make more than that on licensing that music and, yeah. and, and their image and stuff. 
It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money to recoup. Yeah. And they just keep writing checks to these artists. There's a couple of companies out there that are doing it. This is the Kiss went with the biggest one. They're thinking long game. Yeah. They're like, I'm going to own this forever. So, and they want the brand to be around forever for generations to come. And that's why you go through a place like this to do that. All right. Uh, Hey, Alex. Alex, Alex. Gonna lose. (laughs) (laughs) He's low-key pretending like he doesn't care. I haven't even voted. He doesn't even care. He does. You told me I shouldn't care. You were like, you stupid thing shouldn't even win today. So I made sure that it didn't. You did nothing earlier today on the show but provide wrong answers. Uh, no. During a particular segment of this Not show. Not true Silver Chair, at all. Silver Chair Pure Massacre, 62% of your vote. This is Throwback Thursday numbers. Sponge Plowed, 20% of your vote. White Stripe, 16% of your vote. All three songs have won before, and I believe the reason why Wizard put them in there is all three songs have been big winners before. So the, the cream is rising to the top here. The winning song will be played at 9.30 this morning. It's looking like Silver Chair is going to get it, but... Go in there and cast your vote, man. I'm the world famous. Uh, you want a concert announcement? Yeah. So what did we do yesterday on Another this radio? Another one? What happened on this radio station after we were done? Didn't we listen to new music with Jeremy? Yeah, world premieres. None of them were ours. Mm-mm. And to be honest, I took it personally. Yeah. <laughs> it's when the band decided to, to go yeah. uh, worldwide with their music. Um, Imagine Dragons world premiere yesterday and Glass Animals world Glass premiere Animals. yesterday. Uh, Glass Animals coming to town. Ah. Yep. It's their human musical group, Sensations, Glass Animals, Tour on Earth. Wow. It's a lot. Um, I Dress is on the bill. September 21st, Woodlands Pavilion. Glass Animals can sell out Woodlands Pavilion on their own now? Wow. When did that happen? It, like, it happened on my watch. Yeah. Check this out. It says tickets go on sale Thursday, April 11th. They're like, enough of this Friday business when everybody, let's go a day early. Yeah, let's drop it and, on a Thursday. And let's get people's money before everything else goes on sale on Friday. Tickets will go on sale Thursday, April 11th at 10 a.m. I hope that's not a misspelling. Uh, through Ticketmaster locations. So, for the very first pair of Glass Animals tickets, I'll take caller 10, 713-212-5945, and then we'll get to all the blacks, okay? All the blacks, the black crows, the black keys, all of that is still coming, but let's focus on Glass Animals right now. 713-212-5945, caller number 10. Hey, what's up? It's your brother Ron talking about Red Mountain Weight Loss and their revolutionary weight loss medication called Revelex. All the buzz right now is about semaglutide, which is FDA approved for weight loss. Semaglutide, main ingredient in Revelex, but no shots. Uh uh-uh. uh. And Revelex is half the price of the other semaglutides. So, yeah, it's a once a day tablet. You don't got to stick yourself with a needle. That's a problem for some people, okay? No needles, just results. Full-strength semaglutide at half the price of the other semaglutide meds? Come on. And it's in stock at Red Mountain Weight Loss right now. So there's no waiting to fill your prescription. There are no back orders. How'd you like to lose 15 pounds per month? Full-strength Revelex medication. You'll start an effective weight management dose right away. It'll include a one-on-one support from medical experts and resources to ensure you maintain that weight loss for life. You're going to meet with the clinical team monthly to review your progress. So they're with you all the way, okay? Schedule your appointment now. Dial pound 250, keyword red mountain weight loss. Pound 250, keyword red mountain weight loss.
Over on the south side, they're stopping a traffic 610 westbound between Crestmont and Scott. There is traffic uh, stop and go on 610 West Loop between 290 and Richmond. And on the southwest side, the southwest freeway between the West West Park Tollway and 610 West Loop going northbound. A little bit of a delay there, too. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Mm-mm, mm-mm. 94.5 The Buzz. Alex, why don't you give me a little of that new glass animals? All right. This is Creatures in Heaven. This world premiered yesterday with Jeremy at 10 o'clock. Hmm. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Who's this? <laughs> oh my God! This is David. Hi, David. Uh, your caller number ten. Congratulations. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is amazing. This is. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Just announced. Oh Gla- man. Glass Animals, September twenty first, Woodlands Pavilion. My man, you got the very first pair of tickets to to that show. You're in. That is amazing. I just, just mind blown. <laughs> it is amazing. Where are you from, David? Uh, Pasadena. Okay, my man. Congratulations. Have a great time at that show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alex, they sell seats and the lawn and everything for glass animals? Yeah. Like, they're big enough for the woodlands they are now. to pack it. I don't know if they do lawn for them, maybe. Right. Because I've been to places before where they didn't do the lawn uh-huh. for the woodlands, so maybe that's the case. But, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty big come up for them. It is a big, big deal for them. All right. Did you hear this one yet, Tessa? Or is this I the did. first time? Oh, you did? Yesterday after the show. Oh, that's right. We all listened to it together. You're right. All right. I will get to some Black Crows tickets. Give me... Give me about five minutes and I'll get to those. What do you have? All right. Today's AOL is called Guess the Price. It's a fun little game for you. And you will be given things from, I'm looking at a guacamole bowl right now. I was also looking at the Queen Mary cruise ship. And it will ask you what the price of those things are. (laughs) Your goal is to try and get as close as you can. And then it will show you how accurate you are. You're guessing the price of these things? You guess the price. You went from a cruise ship to a guacamole bowl? Oh, yeah. No. And then Harvard tuition was also one (laughs) that popped up, too. And then there was, like, a box of paper clips and a smart light bulb. So, like, it's very different degrees of of price. So let's try uh, this guacamole bowl test out. What do you think this bad boy goes for? A guacamole bowl. And this uh, is a bowl you put the guacamole in that is not with guacamole. Uh, let's go 12 bucks. I'm going to go 4.99. Right. I, I can't even see a picture of it. Testing has 12. The actual price is $20. So that shows Sheesh. that you were $8 off. Your accuracy was pretty close to what everybody else was getting. The hell is that on okay. Gwyneth Paltrow's website? It is. It's a goop, it, yeah, a goop it guac. A goop, is that a goop bowl? Goop, goop and guac. guac. Jesus Christ, yep. that's overpriced. So go check it out and see if you can. Oh, so, okay, the Eclipse. This is an Eclipse owned by a Russian billionaire. It's a yacht. It has two helipads, 24 guest cabins, and a disco hall with two swimming pools. How much does this boat cost? Is the feet of the boat listed? The feet, no. Okay. But it looks, it, if it fits 24 How guests in cabins. How much does a yacht cost? It's a 30 footer. It's got to be a 30 footer. Yeah, at least. I'm going to go 30 mil. I'm going to go 30, a mil a foot. One, two, three. One, I'm going to go three, f- one, two, three. 10 that's, mil. That's three. It's Okay. That's that's 30 mil I did, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Making sure my zeros are right. Whoa. Uh, no, it's only one million five hundred dollars. One point five mil. I really need to see pictures. You need I to get yeah. gua- you need <laughs> to get bowls. It's, it's a pretty easy way to kill some time today at work. Go check it out. See if you can guess the price of the world famous Rod Ryan show page is at buzz.com.
94.5 The Buzz, some 41 landmines. Uh, good morning, Rod Ryan Show. 9.27, uh, okay, uh, I can kill a little bit of time here. We'll let you vote until 9.30. I don't want Alex getting upset that we went Again. early and then looking for some sort of an excuse. <laughs> um, Black Keys tickets on Know the Show. I, I, I haven't given away the Black Crows tickets yet. Uh, do you want Black Crows tickets? Call me now. Call me. I'm, I'm bypassing Chili. I'm skipping, I'm skipping Chili. Okay. You got to do that sometimes. He's on vocal rest. Uh, Black Crows are playing Friday night, 713 Music Hall. But, I mean, you got to be just, you got to be down to party on Friday night. Good morning. Rod Ryan Show. Good, good morning. Hello. Who's this? This is Lydia. Were you just hearing me talk on the radio about uh, giving away some tickets? Yes. That was quick. I thought there was a longer delay. Hey. I, thought the, the, <laughs> I, I thought there was more of a delay than that. That was a pretty instantaneous. Um, <laughs> do you want to go see the, the Black Crows Friday night? I really do. Well, then let's do it. I mean, do it. Yes. Why would I not give you the tickets? I, I, I can't come up with even one good not reason. Not one reason. Nope. No, I cannot at all. <laughs> hey, Chili, this is kind of fun. I might skip you more often. This is kind of nice. I don't mind it. You hey, go what? ahead, man. Make sure you put her winner info, too. So <laughs> <laughs> like, do the whole transaction, yeah. right? Yeah. Start to finish. <laughs> All right. What I am going to do is I'm, I am going to hand you off to Chili now. So I got some thank other... you. You guys have a wonderful day. Man, oh, my gosh. Thank you. Have you seen the Black Crows live? I don't think that I have. I've been to a bunch of concerts, but some, some of them are a blur. So. You're going to love it. You, you are going to absolutely love it. All right. I'm so glad that you got through today. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's do this. Uh, can we do this Throwback Thursday thing? Yeah. Lots of votes today. These are all former big winners. Former big, big winners on Throwback Thursday. Sponge plowed. Love it. 19% of the vote. White Stripes, Icky Thump. I like that song a lot, Alex. Yeah. I'm going to go listen to it now. 20... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Alex. 20% of your vote. But I did vote for Silver Chair. I know Mama Cash voted for Silver Chair. And 60% of you wanted to hear Silver Chair because you wanted to rock out to Pure Massacre because the song's awesome.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show, System of a Down, and then just a, I mean, I hope you liked it. 60% of you wanted to hear it. Man, that Silver Chair song is badass. I, caught, I even caught Tessa rocking out a little bit to it over there. Just a little. You were rocking. Don't tell me you weren't rocking to that. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Throwback Thursday. Great job today. Great job. A lot of votes this morning. A lot of votes. Um, still have Black Keys tickets to give away. If you liked yesterday, I think that's what you're getting today. Sunny, no rain, high of 84. I've been sitting on this all morning. I wanted to mention it. And I was thinking, uh, maybe a poll question, but this is a little high. 82% of people consider themselves to be organized. Hmm. Who's organized on this show? You. I appreciate that, but I'm not. Really? I'm prepared. But the organizational skills I lack, and I almost mm. want that for myself like a full head of hair. I, I want to be organized. I, I love people that are organized. Yeah. I'm talking about my life, my house, everything, the papers over there. Right. I'm not. I, right. I, I, that's awesome if I come across that way. I, I, I need help in that department. Okay. I need help. And, but well, I'm you not. See, you see, you're giving organized vibes. I'm not bringing in that chick that's like, do, does it give you joy and chucking stuff? I'm not doing Kondo. that yet. Well, who is that? Maria Kondo. Are you organized? No, I'm not. Are you? What goes on at your place? I'm like organized chaos. Yeah. I can tell you where stuff is. My wife's always like, why, why did you put it there? Because I remember where it was. It's in that box, underneath that thing, to the left of it, behind right. that bag. I don't hate that. I can I, tell you where it is. Why did you like? It's, it's obviously organized. I no. am constantly buying different bins and baskets and things, anything to. I, my sister's house and my house, you wouldn't think we were brother and sister. Really? She's just such a minimalist. There's no papers. Like where? Did, like where's today's mail? Where did it go? Did you already go through it and do everything you need to do? Like, I have mail just sitting on the counter. So do I. I have stuff. I have it. I have, I have stuff. it from the Airbnb and the apartment. It's in a pile, and it's right there on my you counter. You got crap laying out at the place you rent? Uh, Well, no, no, no. I go get the mail from it sometimes. Oh, okay. Like, when I clean it over, yeah. When it yeah. turns over, I'm like, let me grab all this mail. But you told me that you don't like... And this, I don't like things on counters. That's what I'm saying. You told me that you don't you don't like appliances on counters. No, I don't like anything. I don't like to see it. I have everything on the counters. Oh, dude, everything. Yeah, same, same. Dude, I don't like to see it. I hate it about myself. And I'm fine with I it. Have, I've accepted it. I I, I haven't. I, I'm still struggling with it, but I'm not doing anything to change it. Either. I only want to see aesthetically pleasing things on counters. Yeah. So like. I've had these jars and they're beautiful jars. And I'm like, I'm going to make a terrarium in there. I'm going to have plants. I have a table of joy. It's just pretty things. You're a terrarium? Yeah. I want a terrarium. That's like my new thing. No toaster, but a terrarium. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, oh, a terrarium toaster, verbal trademark. Uh, here's what I notice. Yeah, like idea. when I see somebody, I don't know, I'm trying to think, like Cheetah, okay? Uh -huh. Cheetah, Cheetah uh -huh. Craft. Uh -huh. And I see like some picture of her and like hanging out at her house or whatever. And it looks like Better Home and Goddamn Gardens is there. <laughs> and it's just a random picture of her house. And then when you see a picture of me, if you ever see anything of my house, there's just crap everywhere. <laughs> you know, like it never looks cool in the background. The picture itself is cool, but then everything around it, I know everyone's judging. They're like going, trying to make it bigger to see all the crap do on my counter. Do you ever like move? The, you're like, I'm just going to slide this I do. stuff over here, put it on the, the, dinner, for, the dining room table real fast while I take this picture. For the photo, yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. my six picks, I took a picture of the game I was watching, LSU versus Iowa, and uh, someone like zoomed in, like I had a towel hanging on the door and they're <laughs> yeah, like what... someone get this chick a towel rack like first of oh, all first yeah. of all bucko like <laughs> congratulations on being the jackhole of the day i have a towel rack i just hung it on the door when i was in showering i put it on the door this is america thank you alex 82 percent of people <laughs> consider themselves organized 82 percent of people are lying i don't <laughs> think 82 percent of people can suck my no <laughs> <laughs> She's not wrong. I, She's I not know, wrong. I'm totally, I'm, like, I'm totally kidding, but like, good for you. I would pay someone. I, this is where we talk about like things that are overpriced, but you would pay for it. 
Like, I would give someone a G stack to organize my but house. But would you keep it but that to, way? It, but, like, they would have to keep it that way. Yeah. Because I would ruin you it. You to live yeah. with me at that point. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> just be here. Like, I have a thing with lids, too. Like, I don't remember to put lids back on things. Because I'll be in a hurry. Like, this morning, like, BioFreeze, boom, boom, boom on the neck. And then I just walk out the door. Like, it's just there, open. Grow up, Peter Pan. My I, kid does I, that. I, well, <laughs> Toothpaste. toothpaste. I, I like to get the toothpaste that has like the lid that you can't remove. Like it's on. London like, is, on. It's got London? the strap on yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. My kid has never put the lid on anything, Dude, okay? Come I don't on. put lids on anything. Like I <laughs> All right. have a thing with lids. I'm it's getting... like me and lids, it's on site. This I see them, they this, run. This conversation is giving me anxiety. <laughs> Not very organized conversation. You hired us. I know. You hired us. What are you giving away? I know the show. A month of organizing from Alex. <laughs> He'll tell you where all your stuff is. Sure. I have a pair of tickets. To, I really want to go to this show every time I see it. The Black Keys, Head in the Heart, not going to be here until September 21st. Tickets aren't on sale yet. Uh, they'll play Toyota Center. ToyotaCenter.com is where you go, but I have a pair of tickets for someone. All right. Um, we'll have a question for you on the flip. Hey, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about Shell Federal Credit Union. Well, how about getting a new credit card, okay? With a $5 initial deposit, anyone that works, lives, worships, attends school, or regularly conducts business in Harris County, you can bank with Shell FCU. Enjoy the purchasing power and benefits of a Shell FCU Platinum or Signature Visa credit card. New cardholders receive a special rate of 2.99% APR for the first 12 months on, on purchases and balance transfers. All Shell FCU credit cards offer no balance transfers, no cash advance fees, plus many other additional benefits. Okay, for complete details about the advantages of a Shell FCU Visa credit card, visit shellfcu.org.
And Max is walking all the lanes on I-10 Katy Freeway, the feeder road westbound between Silver and Chimney Rock. Police are on scene directing traffic now. A vehicle fire is walking all the lanes on the Hardy Toll Frontage Road southbound between FM 1960 and Ritchie. These are pretty major events, guys. They just popped up now on the map. So pack some patience. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan. Show wrapping up a throwback Thursday show. Well, almost wrapping it up. One last bit of business. We call it Know the Shows, where Tessa asks you a question, preferably something covered on today's program. <laughs> Is that what you would prefer? Pref- I would prefer hmm. that it be something that was on today's show. Hmm. Um, for Black Keys tickets. Do you want to go to that show? I do. I do. <laughs> Every time that comes up, you say that. I go, ooh. I really want to go. Ooh. Well, go. <laughs> Maybe I will. All right. What's your question for a Friday. listener to go? Yes, I think it's on Saturday. Oh, okay. Um, what what ridiculous name did Rod suggest I name my brand new baby niece who already has a beautiful name? He said, name her this. Oh, you yeah. should name her this. I haven't heard anyone that has this name. I've never met anybody with that name. <laughs> Just in that one story. 
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Now we truly are wrapping up this Throwback Thursday edition. Beautiful weather day, man. Yesterday was awesome. Uh, we're going to have that again today. So no rain, sunny skies, highs of around 84. Come on. Okay. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Good morning. Hello. Who's this? This is Jesse. How organized are you, Jesse? I think people feel they're super organized. Are you organized? I am not organized at all. I I'll be honest. I really appreciate the honesty on that. Me too. It's something I need to work on. I should have yes, done sir, it. definitely. I, yeah, if I do a poll question on that, people are going to lie. I don't think there's that oh, many yeah. people that are organized. Let's, uh, let's go through Tesla. Let's get you some tickets here. That's not the question. Uh, go ahead. Hey, tell me what ridiculous name Rod said I should name my baby niece. It's not ridiculous. Uh, I'm with though. I think it, I think you should uh, name him Geppetto. Name oh, Geppetto. Geppetto. Well, he's a girl, so. Geppetto. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Geppetto. 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 Geppetto line. Geppetto. Come on, Geppetto. Geppetto. It's gonna be Geppetto for the rest of my life now. Uh, Jesse, you just want to know the show. What are you giving him? You and the tickets I really want to see the Black Keys. You know the show. Congratulations. Yeah, know. Yes, yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, bro. Here's to getting organized. And uh, have a great time at that Black Creek, Black Key show, okay? All right, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Okay, we're wrapping this up? Yes. <laughs> we sure will. All Here right, you go. Jeremy wants in. Sammy Baker Davis Jr., he beat Paul this morning. Um, to get his second official win, he's going to go for win number three. Fresh out of bed, head-to-head, -head, play every morning at 620. You guys should join us in homeroom. It's a good time. And we finally got our act together here. Bless you. you First go. couple of days of that fresh out of bed, head-to-head -head was rough, man. Today was all right. <laughs> great job on the throwback Thursday votes. Word submitters, great job. Tessa beat the Chile this morning. Um is that something that you podcast as well? It like just just the game? Podcasted, yes. Oh yeah, you can just go listen, go to, the listen to the game to it right now. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Fix the Gram Thursday was your number one link today. Thanks for all the feedback on that new Imagine Dragons song. I don't know what Wizard's gonna do with that. I think it's all right. Uh, burrito Day today? National Burrito Day. Someone said try Cabo Bob's. A Cabo Texas, Bob. A Texas burrito chain. Um. So, Jeremy is up with the nonstop nooner. Pick your tickets in the 1 o'clock hour. And he says at one twenty he's going to do two winners back-to-back. -back. So, he'll have, like, a perfect circle, <laughs> taking hell? back Sunday from Ashes to New and Gaslight Anthem. So, that's what Jeremy's up to at one twenty. He's a maniac. I know. Teresa's got Black Keys tickets for you at four twenty. She's doing a karaoke thing with the talk back. Mike, Mike on the iHeart app? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Alex, you should call and sing. I might. He won't. So help me yeah. God, if I catch you singing on oh, someone else's show, I might, but I won't call literally... it under my own name. For the love <laughs> of baby, baby Geppetto, I if I'll call you, as Geppetto. I, if you ever I hear a Geppetto singing on the air, that's me. If I catch you singing on another show, and you won't sing on this one, <laughs> it is friend off forever. Cost more for me to sing. Holy crap! That was my Holy contract. cannolis! I don't even want to think about it. Um, you would hurt us deeply. Is there a new Pass the Gravy episode? There up? is, and it's awesome, and you should go listen to it or watch it right now. Okay. Uh, on links and guests. On links and guests. Teresa's on. Uh, I'm sorry, Tessa's on Houston Life at 1 p.m. today. Mm -hmm. She'd like you to check that out. I we're gonna would. we're gonna be on a 20 hour break. When we come back, uh, we have free beer Friday. We have Fanny Friday. We have open phones Friday, and then all these tickets that are going on sale tomorrow, we'll give you the last ones before they go on sale. So that means Dashboard, 21 Pilots, Black Crows. Uh, well, Black Crows are playing tomorrow night, so we'll give you the last pair of tickets before we turn you loose on that show. And then Black Keys tickets go on sale tomorrow. Co Wetzel tickets go on sale tomorrow yeah. at 10 a.m. So, it, it's, so it's just big, big ticket day and then open phones and all that. I can't wait. Guys, have an awesome, awesome Thursday. AMF. Baby Geppetto. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>